Did you hear that, or was that just me? It's a very weird sound. Why? What? What? What now? As soon as I go live, my second monitor turns off. Why is this happening? Hold on. It was like some weird banshee noise <clears throat> that I heard out my window. Uh, and now my monitor, why is my monitor off? Is that off? Technology have to be cruel to me today. Happy Monday, everyone. I can't see the chat just yet, so but I'm sure you're all there. Uh, good to see you all on this wonderful Monday morning. Hope you had a great weekend. I had a very busy but very good weekend. Uh, my, my apologies for not being able to do my Friday live stream. For those of you who are uh, wanting to see some Sherlock Holmes, well, you have my apologies. I still intend to continue with my Friday live streams, but as I uh, mentioned last week, my schedule is becoming a little bit more complicated as I'm having a hard time finding reliable child care. Uh, so yeah, uh, the, the upshot of that is... The upshot of that is that Scotch and Smoke Rings is now going back to its original programming time of 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific time, and it's only going to be about three hours instead of four hours. By the way, if you missed Scotch and Smoke Rings last week, it was a really fun episode. And I showed off a new prop, a really cool Fallout-themed prop, an NCR Ranger, Veteran Ranger helmet. That's huge. It's like uh, Lord Helmet from Spaceballs huge. It's just insanely crazy. Don't know why they ever made that thing that big. At any rate, we uh, I got to show it off uh, on Thursday, which was a lot of fun. And uh, then uh, another thing that's going to change a little bit um, due to... Why is the Mass Effect launcher... Is it the Mass Effect launcher that did this to my other monitor? Okay, hold on. I'm starting to think that the, it's the launcher that's the problem. There you go. Because Steam doesn't actually launch the game. It launches this uh, Legendary Edition launcher, which then launches the game. And sometimes the launcher is weird. Anyway, I'm thinking that I'm probably going to need to change my go-live time for my Monday, Wednesday, Friday streams from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. As you know, it's, it's close to 11 a.m. right now, and I'm just now going live. Uh, what with getting the kids dressed and ready and fed and out the door and then getting an exercise in. It's just really hard to get live by 10 o'clock. So I'm going to try and make it um, make it by 11. I'm going to switch things up to 11. All right? I think that'll be all right. It's not that big of a deal because like half the time I don't go live till noon anyway. So. Anyway. There we go. Okay, I can see the chat. It's good to see everybody on Facebook today. Michael, Roman, Jocelyn, Matthew, Dylan, uh, and uh, Jocelyn, uh, Jocelyn Ryan with the first donation of stars today. Morning, Ox, and all busy days who can't stay. No worries, Jocelyn. I know what it's like to have a busy day. You go uh, earn that bread and have that busy day. I'm glad you stopped by. Matthew Ryan stops by and says, Hi, Ox. Thank you, Matthew, so much. Dylan Lee with a donation of stars. Very generous. Thank you, Do uh, Dylan Lee. And a sticker that says, let's go. Let's go, Dylan. 
And of course, it's great to see all of the regulars and members and Patreon subscribers. On the YouTube chat today, Automatic Beats, Ethan H. with a gold derby, Matt Rowland, Thomas McCormick, Alt Grendel, Edward C., Survivor from the Old Era, Julian Z. with a gold derby, Slatty Bartfast with a gold derby, Lane Barry, Sarah, Tony J., uh, Edward J., Bingo Bill, Brandon Beltfed, Andreas Martinez, Quintayos with the Gold Derby, Automatic Beats, and uh, Matt Rowland and Julian Z with the first super chat of the day says, Hi Ox, so good to see you on this mass Monday. Missed you Friday. Are you ready to do more quests? Remember to save the Tachanka mission for last. Play on, sir. Yeah. Right, and that's what today's going to be about. Today's going to be the day of side quests. Let's knock out all of these side quests, well, at least the ones that we can do, and uh, then we'll move on to continue with the plot by going to Tachanka. I believe there, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe we had two quests on Tachanka that we could do before doing the final one, which actually advanced the plot. I believe there were two side missions and a priority mission on Tachanka, so we could go back to Tachanka as long as we avoid the priority mission, right? Am I right? And Chininator in the chat says, Hey, Oxhorn and the Oxaholics, sadly, I won't be drinking alcohol for the foreseeable future for personal reasons. Chininator, no need to explain. You do what you gotta do. There is no shame in knowing your limits, knowing your boundaries, knowing what you're comfortable with, what you're not comfortable with, and making that decision for yourself. Everyone here will respect that. Totally cool, Chininator. I'm glad you're able to come to the program anyway. And Matt Rowland says, Ox, I think I can speak for all when I say that we support you and we are just excited for whatever time you can spend with us. I know childcare is tough. It is, uh, it is tricky, but you know what? Things are looking up in the Oxhorn sphere, in the Oxhorn, uh, Oxhorn realm of influence, having a great time. And uh, you know what? It's, I'm still able to broadcast, you know? It doesn't matter uh, if I get alive early in the morning, as long as I'm able to get in front of this camera, I'm feeling pretty. Uh, pretty good about things. Pavel, with uh, our, our torment, our plain ta Planescape Torment factoid of the day, Dacon is a member of a race which can shape reality with their minds. Methodical, with strict moral codexes, but something ugly happened between him and the Nameless One in a previous incarnation. All right, wow. Well, more backstory on the, the plot, the biography of the Nameless One. Thank you for that, Pavel. Brandon Dunn, a member for five months and a bronze ox, says, Hi, Ox. Hope you're doing great. Thank you, Brandon Dunn. I am doing fantastic. So good to see you guys. Wasteland Wanderer. A bronze ox and a member for eight months, says, Hi, Ox. Hope you're well. Thank you, Wasteland Wanderer. I'm doing very well. Daniel Holmes says, can't stay for long. Hope you have a great stream. I will watch the video on demand later. Take care, my man. Thank you, Daniel. You take care too, buddy. Always good to have you stop by. All right, hopefully my monitor won't just randomly shut off again. Because it's about time to go live. Come on. Forgot, right. Fire, under the fire. Fire. Right. A little bit of fire. All right, let's dive in. What? What? Okay. Just a second here. Having a problem. Slight problem. That's a slight problem. Uh, it's not detecting my computer. Oh God, why do all of these things happen to me now? Um, detect. Detect, identify. One and two. It's sharing the screen. Yes, of course. Now? Yes, it's working. Hey, what do you, it's, why wouldn't it work with the game on? <laughs> Why? Hold on. Let me try this again. Just hold on. I'm going to figure it out. I got this. I'm, I'm, I'm a pro. I, I, this is what I do for a living, right? This is how I make my money. So I know what to do. 
Computers. God. Okay. And loading. Mass Effect. Come on. I'm gonna stop screwing up my computer, Mass Effect. Oh, oh, oh finally! Uh, Raquel says, uh, keep up the great work, Ox. Wishing you and the whole chat a great week. Greetings from Portugal. Hey there, Raquel. Thank you so much for watching. Matt of Warb says, would you rather fight ferals or husks? Eh, I mean, the husks are sort of meh. Like, they're not that dangerous. Ferals are also not that dangerous, with the exception of the rare glowing one and the super legendary one. They're, they're creepy, too. All right, let's resume this. Don't crash on me, game. Alt Grendel says, coin for the new hardware fund. Thanks, Alt Grendel. I don't, I don't think I need new hardware. I mean, it's true. I haven't updated my streaming system here for a few years now, but it's it still works. It's working. Yay! Oh, okay. Let's see. Oh my god. So many freaking things. Attican Traverse the Rachne. That's right, we got that message about the Attican Traverse. Priority to Chanka. That's the one we need to avoid. Citadel, Aria to Loak. We need to go back to the Citadel. Lots of stuff where we need to go back to the Citadel. The Apian Crest Banner of the 1st Regiment. Uh... I believe Benning. Tell you what, let's just top. Okay, I'm just going to avoid Tachanka for now because I don't. Let's just find something to do that isn't Tachanka. Preston99 says, This day, I guess you like Mondays too? Yeah. Alright, so, okay, the Shroud facility cure the Genophage, and then Cerberus attack investigates Cerberus presence. Now, now, this one opened up the Cerberus attack after we did the bomb, right? The Shroud facility cure the Genophage is the one we need to avoid. So we could continue with Cerberus attack. I think we can. As long as we avoid cure the Genophage, we're good to go. So let's investigate the Cerberus attack. And then we'll do like the Rachne one and move on from there. Okay. Uh, the Raging Krogan says, Happy Mass Effect Monday, Ox. Got me worried there for a minute. Glad it worked out. <laughs> Thanks. Got me worried there for a minute too. Matthew Ryan says, Back to work. Have fun. Thank you, Matthew. He says, It's a Monday, Ox. You should know Murphy's Law is in full effect massively. It is. It is massively in effect on Mass Effect Monday. On this broadcast, at any rate, Jean Schultz with a donation of stars on Facebook. Thank you so much, Jean and Dylan and Matthew. Okay, uh, we got to go investigate Cerberus. Uh, <sighs> haven't had Javik in a while. Let's add him. Why not? We haven't had Edie in a while. Interesting to hear there. Actually, it's we're on Tachanka. We should probably get Garrus in there. Hold on. We should probably get Garrus in there to get the uh, Turian perspective. And then I'm going to need a good biotic, and that's going to be Liara. Uh, Christopher Lowe says, I recommend finding the missing scouts if you haven't already. Uh, the missing scouts. I'm not sure what that's a reference to, but I'll take a look at my quest log here in a bit. Sarvis the Dro says, Talking to Arya Tolak in the Citadel Hangar will lock you into a DLC. It's one you can really do at any time, even now, but just keep that in mind. All right, thank you, Sarvis the Dro. That's really good information. Garrison Javik. Javik says the Raging Krogan. All right, fine. Garrison Javik, why not?
just means the volume feel pretty low, uh, sound pretty low. All right, so this is me, and I've got a recharge speed of 103%. That's exactly what I want. Think I'm doing pretty good. Don't need any more mods. I'm not sure if I got any new mods in the last mission. So let's move on to Javik here. Okay, so he's got a, is that a, it's a particle rifle. Oh boy, the weight. Uh, yeah, the particle rifle is just so good. Why would I need anything else? Let's add some mods to it. I don't think we have any mods there. Uh, let's see. He's not going to need his scope. Extended barrel, yes. Uh, piercing mod, maybe. Magazine upgrade, eh. Stability dampener, eh. Let's give him a piercing mod. Boom. And then he's got uh, the M3 Predator 2. We could give him the Scorpion, and this sucker is just awesome. Look at that damage difference. Capacity goes down, fire rate goes down, but that damage. I mean, as long as his aim is good. Don't need a scope for an NPC. We'll do a high caliber barrel. Magazine upgrade, piercing mod, melee stunner, ultralight materials. Piercing mod it is. All right, uh, I like that. Now we go on to Garrus, and I think we've already outfitted him with the best of what we've got. We did find this M97 Viper, and the damage goes way up with that. We lose out on weight, capacity. Wait, why, why are we on the Mantis? Oh yeah, because that does more damage. The vi With the Viper, the damage goes way down. All right, that's what I wanted. It's already got the barrel and the piercing mod, so we'll confirm that and move on to the Particle Rifle 1, which has the barrel. Why did I put the scope on this? No, no, no. Let's, we've got the piercing mod and the barrel. That's what I want on there. Okay, I think we're good. Now, four points for Shepard here. Um, I've maxed out Shockwave. I've maxed out Assault Mastery. Uh... I mean, I could start working on Slam, but I'm just not using Slam that much. I've got it on my menu. I should probably try it a bit more. Well, I mean, Biotic Charge, and that needs five. I should upgrade that. I use that all the time. So I should really focus on using that. I, I use Shockwave all the time, too. So I'll keep saving up. Let's see. Garrus here has got three points to spend and can spend them now. We maxed out Concussive Shot. Next, we should probably uh, start working on... Armor piercing and Turian rebel. Javik here. <laughs> We've got a lot to spend. Vlad says the Viper is better. Yeah, but you're not telling me why. It's one thing to say that the gun is better, but to explain why, that's what I need. Because I took a look at the damage that he's got, the Mantis, I think, and that just the damage is better. Why would the Viper be better if the damage is half? Because greater fire rate? Maybe. All right, Dark Channel. So that's like a biotic poison. A, a grenade. Pull. Body slam. Vengeful Ancient. Boost biotic and offensive abilities. Might as well, right? Increases squad mate power damage duration and force by 10%. Increases squad mate shield recharge speed by 20%. Um... So that's a total 30%. Power, duration, and force. 30% bonus. That's going to be great. Stick that. Boom. Vengeful Ancient. we got seven left. Let's work on Dark Channel. Increases damage by 30% or increases power duration by 40%. Let's do duration. All right. We need more points for him. Here we go. Shepard Services landing forces away from the Tachunka battlefields. Their target seems to be an ancient ground to space cannon facility that hasn't been used since the Krogan rebellions. The site has no obvious military advantage and the Krogan are spread too thin to deal with it. Do we know what Cerberus is up to? No, but we do know that Cerberus doesn't act without a plan. 
Get in there and stop them. Find out what they're up to while you're at it. We'll get it done. See to it. Hack it out. Mad Roland says the piercing mod is. is Get on it. All right. Matt Rowland says piercing mod is irrelevant for the particle rifle. It's a beam weapon, not a ballistics weapon. Oh, uh, yeah. Good point, Matt. Thanks. <laughs> I'll change that next time I'm in there. Man of Warp says the Viper is a sniper rifle for players with poor aim. High fire rate means there are no consequences of the missing shots. Well, I'm giving it to Garrus. I'm assuming he's got good aim. He's Garrus. Let's find the control room for those kids. Kill anything in our way. This I can do. Junk salvage. All right, well, I've blown my cover. They know I'm here, but I got to get all the loot. Around to loot, guys. Please stop coming out of the corners. Fall back to the control room. They're up in there, huh? Control center secure. Then I think it's time to test this can. Says, what was that?
shotgun blast. Oh, oh God. <laughs> okay, can I explore the place now? Latch. Who's Latch? I guess I don't understand what's going on there. Von Rex says, uh, just a brief bounce in. Still catching up on the Mass Effect series on part 32 now. So maybe by next week, loving the Steel Dawn series. Great work as always. Thank you, Von Rex. And then Stefano says, weapon stats do not describe the weapon strengths completely. That is why there is a weapons range at the Citadel. I think you should try it. Thank you, Stefano. I should take, uh, take a look at it. The Raging Krogan says, Ox, there is a side item mission up in the control room. You will want to get that unless you want to pay credits for it later. All right, thank you, the Raging Krogan. I'll get back up there. Garrick on Facebook says, be sure to search the area for war assets and weapons and equipment. Thank you, Garrett. Will do. And then Ger or Garrick. And then Garrett says, hi, Oxhorn and all in chat. Sorry I'm late. It was a crazy Monday for me. What have I missed? Not much. We just started. We're tackling Tachanka right now. Not the priority mission, but uh, trying to figure out why Cerberus is here. All right, so that goes down. Let's finish exploring up here because I don't feel like I had an opportunity to really make sure that I explored everything. But as long as we don't have a ticking clock, I think we should be okay, right? Armor unlocked. Armax Arsenal Gauntlets. Okay, and we're back here. That's the full loop. All right, moving onward. We've been here, right? Yep. <gasps> I can't go down there, huh? There we 
go. We're cutting it close, Commander. I've re out of the power to the main console. Heading back now. Julian Z says, Ox, try shooting the latch with your pistol or melee. I tried melee and it didn't work, but it did work with the pistol. And the Dragon Fan says, use a pistol to shoot the latch. Thank you very much, both of you guys. Okay, well, we reactivated power, so... Cannon control restored. Targeting enabled. Coordinates, Lieutenant. Uploaded. Firing. Direct starboard hit, Commander. Target breaking up. Repeat. Direct hit. Dead and buried. All right. Good work, everyone. Cool. What did we do? I, we killed a, a big ship? Shepard, with those Krogan cannons operational, Cerberus has actually given us the advantage in that system. The enemy's pulling back, but we think they'll try to seize the facility again. Seems likely. I'm sending an Alliance team to keep it secure. They've got a foothold in a strong defensive position, thanks to you. Glad to hear it. Good work, Commander. Hack it out. Awesome. Met. Man of Orb says, ooh, we got 10,000 credits. Awesome. Man of Orb says, this uh, this area and the Cerberus lab you were in earlier are actually maps you unlock for multiplayer in the original game. Oh, there was multiplayer in Mass Effect 3? The Raging Krogan says, Ox, the console over in front. You blew up a Cerberus ship, says Sludge. He missed the item. Did I miss the item? I got the armor. Was there another item besides the armor? Oh, whatever. I'll buy it later. Let's see if we got any war assets out of that. Krogan, hey. Krogan First Division. The Krogan First Division is a conglomeration of infantry and vehicles hastily organized into a single coalition force. The chain of command is divided by clan, with representatives from each serving as officers. Despite ancient differences, fighting the Reapers together is building a spirit of camaraderie among the division's warriors. Krogan from different clans are starting to swap equipment, stories, and even the occasional barrel of Rheinkall, which is a Krogan beer. Cool. Well, we're almost halfway towards our minimum goal, but nowhere near our maximum goal. I don't think he has anything new to say, but... Yes, Commander. Nope. That's all. Of course, Commander. And Rex? Need something, Shepard? That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. We could be on the front lines. Why have they got us guarding a door anyway? He's gonna break ranks right now. War makes people stupid. Besides, you talked with Moreau? Collectors invaded this ship and kidnapped the crew. Damn. Okay, I guess we gotta be ready for anything to come through that door. Speaking of morale, let's go talk with him and Edie. Commander. Ah. Shepard, you are staring. Dude, I'm not interested. 
Joker's interested, not me. All right, I don't think I got any more dialogue after that mission, so let's go back to the star chart and move on. You've got new messages, Commander. Oh, I do. Uh, let's see, my project uh, from Liara to Sony. Shepard, I've been working on something I'd like to show you. Can we meet in your quarters when you have a moment, Liara? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I mean, yeah, sure. Quarters, let's uh, head on up. And we can invite Liara. Liara. You had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes, I'll be right up. Oh. So, sentimental time, not sexy time? Come on in. Okay. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. So... I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. A record for I'd the future. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? Oh, um, 50,000 years is a long time for a computer to sit around. Please, I was an archaeologist. I know what I'm doing. I'm encasing these records in time capsules and seeding copies on multiple planets. And while it's not foolproof, the VI I'm installing has every translation and linguistics program I could find. So it's an information guide like Vigil on Ilos? Yes. I've been preparing it for some time. And it will be a privilege to guide the future discoverers of these records. Have you decided what you would like Dr. Tassoni to write in your entry, Commander? Put down the truth. Good, bad, don't leave anything out. Let history be the judge. I'll give them the facts. Let me just delete all these breathless passages on your heroics. <laughs> you writing anything I can't live up to? I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. Friend? After all this? You've been there for me too, Liara. No, I haven't. I wish I could have joined you back on Ilium. You made up for it. Well... I suppose I did just write your name in the stars. There is that. Well, that was, uh, that was nice. That was good. We, you know, bonded. That was good. Bonding. Uh, Garrick says, why does it take you so long to shoot a latch? I don't know, man. It's hard, complicated. And then in all caps, he says, you missed the war asset. <laughs> Garrick. Sorry, I, did I miss a war asset? Oh no. Hmm. Bummer. Oh, okay. Let's uh, let's go to something else now. Well, that was fun. Thank you, Liara. Space hamster. I'm a good friend. Come on, Liara. What? Commander. All right. One left on Tachanka, the Shroud facility. We need to come back for that. Uh, let's go to the fuel depot, make sure we got enough fuel. We're good on fuel. Let's head to the mass relay. Can't believe we get to finally cure the genophage. Investigate the missing scouts. This is the one you guys were talking about. 
Yeah, I should go do that. Let's go get the scouts. The Unknown City with that tip. Thank you very much, The Unknown City. Mula Zul. Oh! Oh god. Run away! Run away! Faster than light jump successful. Yay! Utuku. Kef. Maldor. Utuku. Although Utuku is habitable, extreme temperatures and violent weather have discouraged colonization. Because the planet has little liquid water to retain heat, surface temperatures regularly oscillate between 70 degrees Celsius to negative 60 degrees Celsius. Utuku's vegetation is notable for having evolved flexible central stalks to survive high-speed winds as well as leathery leaves to shrug off the planet's frequent sandstorms. Animal life is mostly confined to the planet's small oceans. Utuku has few valuable minerals. Uh, the Unknown City with a sticker tip, thank you. Freddie Simmons says the meeting with Liara is a little more drawn out if you let her decide. She references choices you've made. Oh, really? And then Zach with an AK says, be warned, the scout's mission is a little tedious. You'll see why. Come ready for long range combat. Really? Oh, great. And then Garrick, very upset. Gar Garrick is very upset in the Facebook chat, folks. He goes, okay, and then in all caps, OX, PLEASE! For the sake of an Asari on the Citadel, search every nook and cranny when looking for the Kroken scouting party. OX, PLEASE! He says. Okay. For the sake of an Asari on the Citadel. Well, we will look. I'm here. We're going to look for the scouting party, Garrick. I don't want to disappoint you. The caps, the all caps is just terrifying, man. I don't want to see that again. It's intimidating. But okay. I'm going to look for everyone for the sake of an Asari on the Citadel. Jovi says, no worries. You can still get that blue booty later. Well, that is my priority, everybody. Why, why do you think I'm playing Mass Effect? For the plot? The lore? No. Blue booty? Okay. Well, Javik was fun. It was fun. Um, let's try something else. We haven't had... Uh, he's he's really my only sniper. So we'll select Garrus and then... Does Eddie have uh, biotic powers? Deathica says, yes, search all the corpses. All right, I will. Thank you, Garrick and Deathica. The new guy says, hi, Ox, before you cure the genophage, do all the N7 missions. Explore every system. Go to the Citadel and explore everywhere or you will miss content. I mean, look, I'll do my best, but I might miss, I might just miss content, you know? There might be something I miss. I'll try not to, but, you know. Uh, all right, well, we, we had Javik and Garrus. Let's try Edie and Garrus, because we haven't had Edie in a while. I mean, I can't go without Garrus. He's, he's my boy. He's my boy, Garrus. All right. Um, still good on my loadout here. Let's see. Edie has the Mantis. Chat was telling me earlier to go with the Viper, but I just don't see the benefit there. Uh, extended barrel and a piercing mod on that. Good. I like that. And then uh, the particle rifle. Well, if the chat was uh, saying I don't need a piercing mod, 
So I guess we'll do magazine upgrade. Magazine upgrade? Yeah. Weird Beard says you've ruined our viewing pleasure. How dare you? Well, better restart the entire game for that one war asset. <laughs> I Look, they're, they're trying to help me. The chat is trying to help me. And I don't want to miss war assets. So, you know, this... I am sad I missed the war asset in the last mission. But I'll do my best not to miss anything in this mission. Okay? I'll be very good. All right, Garrus. Uh, he's got... No, no, that was Garrus. Now we're on the Yara... The Tempest, uh, Shuriken. Let's see. Let's go with Heat Sink, like that. Magazine Upgrade or Ultralight Materials. We'll do Magazine Upgrade. Bingo. And she's got the Heavy Pistol with no mods. Oh, no, this, is, this isn't this is Liara. This is Edie. Pistol Scope, High Caliber Barrel. Nice. Magazine, Piercing Mod, Melee Stunner, Pistol Materials, Ultralight. Magazine upgrade. Okay. The Red Bee says, I'm good with the restart. Of course you are. Of course. Let's restart the entire series. Let's just go all the way back to Mass Effect 1. Because I missed that one war asset. <laughs> Alright, we got four points to spend. Uh, we could do Overload, Defense Matrix... Uh, or decoy. Restore, res what? This seems really complicated. Overload, but only on electronics. Shields, barriers, and synthetics. Yeah, let's... Hit one additional target within eight meters with 60% less damage. Or increase damage by 30%. Let's try that. Uh, Ross Sewell on YouTube says, Hi Ox, change of subject. Are you looking forward to the Pit Expedition DLC for 76 this year? I'm really looking forward to it. I can't wait to see what Pix Pittsburgh looks like before the Pit DLC for th uh, Fallout 3. The Raging Krogan says, Ox, you screwed up this big time. You missed a war asset. You must restart the trilogy over. All right, I will. I'll do that after this. I'm gonna restart everything. Any updates, Shepard? Our backup is waiting for us at the drop point. Arlak Company, Grogan Commandos. That's correct. They are an accomplished unit, made famous for their decisive action liberating a colony from Batarian pirates. Good to hear. Other than that, there's been no word from a team of Krogan scouts since they went through the Rachni relay. There are many reasons that communication with the scouts could be disrupted. We don't know much, but no Rachni activity has been reported. Still, it's troubling there are rumors at all. It's been years since you released the last Rachni queen on the condition she'd disappear forever. Her race was all but extinct. She would not risk annihilation by starting a war. Just be ready for anything. I think it would have made more sense for uh, me to bring Liara. Yeah, shuttle just arrived. You better get moving, Team 2. See anything, let me know. Grunt? Shepard? Whoa! <laughs> Shepard! It's Grunt! <laughs> what are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Didn't those idiots lock you up? They did. Put me in lockdown to keep the Batarians off me. Didn't want problems with the Council while they prepared for war. But the situation changed. Yeah, they got bigger problems, all right. That's why I'm out here running Arlac Company. They're tough, think they're invincible. Reckless, but effective. Dragon Fan says you can get the war asset at Spectre Requisitions. Oh, great. Spend a little bit of money. There we go. Okay. Sounds familiar, Grunt. How did you go from being new and unproven to your own command? <laughs> wasn't easy. When Rex put Arlac Company together, he needed a leader who represented the future of our species. Thanks to you, 
I completed my rite of passage on Tachanka and became part of Clan Erdnot. I was an equal, and being the strongest, I was chosen to lead this honored company. I bet some didn't like a tank-bred Krogan being in charge. I collected a few scars earning my place here. These Krogan respect me. Man of Warb says, uh, to the tune of Bad Company. I don't know that song, so I'm gonna speak it. This will be the spoken word version of A Bad Company. A company made up of Krogan, a destiny to die under an alien sun. I was born a tank bred, with no clan behind the gun. I'll make my final stand. Love it. Thank you, Man of Warb. And then Phil says, Ox, or uh, says, Online Dad Oxhorn, lol. How you doing, Ox? Much love. Thank you, Phil. I'm doing great. Glad you're here. You were a pain in the ass, Grunt. But if you're Krogan or half the soldier you are, we might make it out of here. Eh, <laughs> glad you're here to crack some heads, Shepard. Hard to believe this might be Rachni. Seems crazy. The Rachni. Chance to face the old enemy? Eh, <laughs> impossible to resist. We don't know if the Rachni had anything to do with this. We're here to find the scouts. I didn't see any signs of activity during our approach. Agreed. But this place smells wrong. Like a bad wound. Our scans show the tunnels down there lead to a large central point. If we're lucky, it's a nest. Sounds like fun. Just like old times, Grunt. <laughs> Our luck company! Move out! That laugh. That's great. Grab what you need, Shepard. Meet me at the scout camp ahead. Sounds good. Take what you need and move out. Okay. So that way to the camp. A claymore. Uh, what? The weight goes way down. No, way up. Weight goes way up. Capacity goes down. Fire rate goes down. Accuracy goes down. What's the point of this? Sledge says the best shotgun. How, how was that the best shotgun? Did I miss something? Not surprised Grunt found his way into the action. Little guy's all grown up. Glad he's here. Weapon bench. High caliber barrel. It's very quiet here. Alright, so that's my venom shotgun. My damage is almost maxed out. Yeah, so with my mods installed on the venom shotgun, I have the same damage as the claymore. But look at that weight surge up there. Holy cow. The Raging Krogan says it's, it also has just one shot. Just one damn shot and reload. Yeah, I think I'll stick with my Venom Shotgun. Ooh, don't fall. Would replace pistol with rifle, says Pyro. Really? I kind of like my little pistol. You think I should have my rifle with me? Sniper rifle.
Yeah. Alright, I'm still at power recharge speed of plus 15%, so. Alright. The assault rifle says Grant? Stick with short to medium range. Oh, okay. Fine. Can try an assault rifle. So between these two, the weight goes down on that, capacity goes up, and damage goes slightly down, but fire rate goes way up. Let's try that. Precision scope, extended barrel, yes. Piercing mod, magazine upgrade. Stability dampener. Let's try that. Elliot says the Maddock rifle is your best bet. Maddock. Oh my gosh. Everyone is saying Maddock. Fine. I'll do the Maddock. All right. Assault rifle equipped. Ready, Shepard. We're right behind you. You ready to go? Trifle says, uh, can you make a vid on West Everett Estates in Fallout 4? Have I not done that? I remember it. I don't know if I've done it. Yeah, maybe I should do that. What did you do after the Collectors were defeated? I spent most of my time back on Tachanka learning what it was to be Krogan. In the lab where I was created, the lessons were like fighting with practice weapons. They had no bite, no impact. I needed the blood and pain. I made mistakes, but I learned. Tell me more about this company. Arlak means Eye of Wrath. We are named after the fierce Tichanka son. Rex handpicked us from different clans to show a united Krogan. We were sent because we're the strongest. The Red Bee says, oh hey Ox, Madoc is the best lol. <laughs> Thanks, the Red Bee. Did Warlord Okir imprint anything on you about the Rachni during your creation? Okir ensured I knew of the Rachni. They are respected as an enemy. Everyone thought they were dead, defeated by the Krogan. You proved that wrong. If they're here, my blood demands they die. Man of Orb says Bad Company was the name of a 70s hard rock band and also the name of their first ever single and was based on a western of the same name. All right, thank you, Man of Warp. What happened to the scouting party? Looks like something dropped half their camp down a hole. Their shuttle must have been lost as well. They weren't going anywhere. Doesn't matter. We're here to find the Rachni and burn them out. All right, let's get going. Finally, right behind you, Shepard. Oh, no! Everyone all right? Shepard! You in one piece? Looks like we're all okay. 
Keep in radio contact. On our way! Explore the tunnels. Alright, I'm gonna look for bodies, because I don't want to miss that war asset. The chat will freak out if I miss the war asset. Don't want that to happen. Something up ahead. I see it. Is this Grunt, it? got a body of a scout here. Been dead a few days. Yeah, if he has his weapon, grab it. He won't need it anymore. Firestorm? Oh. Webbing? Oh, great. Is that webbing? Looks like it. So it's a flamethrower. Great. <laughs> Gonna singe ourselves some bugs. This darkness is going to make it a little harder, Shepard. Agreed. Everybody be ready. Oh, anybody catch that? Confirmed. Okay. Box. Some kind of pot ahead. Yeah, what is that? Burn the spores? I don't want to enrage the, the Rachne if they're good. Daniel says, ignore chat for the decision you need to make LTR later. Later. Um, okay. Well, I, I don't know what... Oh. Oh, they, they explode. They're explosive spore pots. Run! Right, that's what they do. Note the wire, Shepard. Reaper technology. Maybe. Firestorm. Reload. Cool. Oh, come on, guys. Modified and very dangerous. Finally, something to kill. Nothing here yet. Lost a Krogan to a sinkhole. Bad way to go. The nest has to be here. A significant amount of Reaper forces indicates we are on the right path. They keep giving me this firestorm, but man, in battle, it's not very good, in my opinion. 
Oh, we got another dead body down there. Hold on. I gotta find every dead body. Shotgun Shredder Mod. Sweet. Weird Beard says, if you brought Tally, she would be freaking out the entire mission. She's scared to death of the spiders that pop out of the eggs. It's super cute. Tally? You can find Tally? I haven't found Tally in the game yet. Weird Beard, can I find Tally? Okay, Terry Williams says, the only good bug is a dead bug. Hoorah! Super Troopers? Yeah, Super Troopers. that. Can I interact with that? I guess I can't. Well, uh, the, the rack need to, need to answer some questions. I freed their queen under the condition that she was going to be cool. Look at this. No question reapers have been here. Agreed. Let's find out why. Super Troopers, says Eric. It's Starship Troopers. Come on, Ox. What did I say? Super Troopers? No, I totally said Starship Troopers. You guys aren't hearing correctly. It's Starship. I mean, I I watched I it in the shepherd. theaters, right? Copy that. I was there now in the nineties. Like this. Reaper node. This looks important. That did it. Anyone injured? Looks like we're finding another way out of here. Come on. What was that noise, Shepard? Sounded bad. Cave in. We're all right. Good. Didn't want to dig you out. That hurts my feelings, Grunt. Oh, God. So many sticky pots. Yo, oh, why so many pots? They died making sure we could make it to the central chamber. Come on. Is that the way we gotta go? Nope. Oh, Reaper. Tech salvage. Or it looks like that's the way we need to go, but I'm curious about what's down here. Freddie Simmons says, for your information, it doesn't matter whether you killed or saved the Rachne. They're still brought back. So much for past choices making a difference. Well, the Mass Effect series traditionally does a pretty good uh, job of making past choices impactful. Maybe not in this instance. We'll see. Big old rock. It just goes around. What is it? 
Can't get past this rock. Okay, uh, maybe we'll be coming back here later. It just goes around. Oh, I don't like that. Splort. Alright, I see what you guys were saying about this mission being super tedious. I get it now. Hey. Frogan Corpse. Looks like a last message. He's asked that it be delivered to an Asari named Ereba on the Citadel. There it is! We saved an Asari's life, I think. Zane the Insane says past choices still matter. Can't explain now, would be a spoiler. Thank you, Zane the Insane. Is this the Krogan Asari couple that we encouraged in their romance back on Mass Effect 2? Getting lots of goodies here. Ethan H says the Rachni Queen being dead or alive does have consequences, actually. It's just more nuanced than the Rachni dead or the Rachni alive, actually. Frowny face. <laughs> Thank you, Ethan. Oh, man, that was a that was an Another angry hole. frowny face. Expect trouble. Is that a proximity mine? Ooh. A tunnel. Got a dead body here. Stay low. Don't let it get a beat on you. Oh, that's what that was. I got sprayed with acid.
case I need it to get through some webs. We must be getting close, Shepard. Some heavy fighting. Tough bastards. Casualties? It's fine. Krogan fight better angry. Shotgun spare ammo. Thank you. Oh, God. Beard says, oopsie, sorry about that spoiler, slipped my mind. Don't worry about it. I mean, it's not that big of a deal to think that we might actually find Tali. <clears throat> but at least uh, the surprise will be in how we find Tali again. Oh, man, more of these pods? Watch the bug! Like my crew can take care of the bugs. Or not. Another firestorm. The Rachni favor highly toxic environments for breeding. But this atmosphere is breathable. The Reapers must have changed them. They definitely look different. Oh, they can jump! little buggers. I bet they're breeding an army down here. Breeding like flies. And this place is well hidden. I mean, it adds up. I agree. And they're throwing everything they've got at us so we don't reach the nest. Ariaki Technologies Shoulder Guard.
Come on! Thanks, Shepard. That wasn't webbing stopping us. That was Reaper Tech. <clears throat> we ran into it, too. The Rachni have backed off for now, but they can smell our wounds. Any worthy enemy would regroup and finish us. Soon. We're close, Grunt. Those barriers were protecting whatever's down that pass. We'll dig in here, kill anything that moves. Buy you some time. Good luck. I don't need luck. I have ammo. Krogan! Get ready! Locate the central chamber. Heads up, more eggs. Take it slow. More Reaper Tech! Narrow passage. <clears throat> what is that? Grunt, we've located the central chamber. Your back, Shepard. Move it. Damn it. We need a switch. Uh, Sarvis the Drow says, Ox, I hope you've been making sure to stick your face directly above any alien eggs you've found. It's Wayland Yutani's standard procedure after all. Right, right. Next time I find an egg, I will do so. Man of Warp says, Grunt is right. Having lots of ammo means you don't have to rely on luck and critical hits. It's a fair point. Tim Chandler says, always enjoy your content, Ox. Thank you for making your community a great place to be. You're welcome, my friend. But it's not all on me. My community is just amazing. We gotta get past these barriers. 
Stay focused. Getting me into trouble. did this to you? Poor guys that keep being used. They can't hurt you anymore. Yes, we understand. 
Can you still feel the Reapers? Can they influence you? We hear the machines, but they cannot control us. Remove this last shackle, and we are free. If they can return, they will destroy us all. Really fast. We're getting movement here. A lot of movement. Copy that, Grunt. Are you capable of fighting the Reapers? We hate the machines. We will fight for our unborn children. Really fast. <laughs> Do we trust them again? She's badly wounded. She needs too much time to escape. Shepard, we're out of time. We stay here, our lead company dies. Is that clear? What? I have to choose between Arlac Company or the Reaper? Oh, come on! I don't want to have to choose between the two! This is so cruel! This is an entire species! If we let her die, an entire species is wiped out! But Arlac Company is good for the Alliance! We're proving that the different clans of the Krogan can work together. And that's what the Krogan need. Shit is saying, save her, save her, save her. She's a powerful war asset, save her. Okay. But we're gonna let Arlac Company die. We can't let Arlac Company die, all right. We're gonna save her. Listen up. Our light company holds the Rachni off while the Queen escapes. We'll buy you some time. Grunt, fall back to our position and lead us out. Damn you, Shepard! I'm leaving my team. On my way! Commander! That's an order. She's too valuable an asset to lose. will never forgive us, will he? <laughs> These are still in the Shuttles down that path! I'll hold them off. Oh, Grunt! No, 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 no. Get out of here, Shepard! Come on, Grunt. Don't throw away your life! Grunt! Grunt! No! My turn. <laughs> Epic Grunt! with their own legs! Don't die, Grunt! No! Oh, what a badass! Grunt! No! What have we done? <laughs> Cortez, we're the last ones out. Copy that, Commander. Shuttle is waiting. Grunt! Yeah! Oh! Is he okay? He's covered in blood! Grunt. Look at him! Anybody got something to eat? <laughs> uh. Yeah, Grunt! 
The last Krogan. Achievement unlocked, Tunnel Rat. I'm reviewing a report on the Rachni situation, Commander. This could have gotten complicated fast. I hope you know what you're doing, cutting a deal with the Rachni Queen. We got burned last time. We did I'm it. trusting your instincts, Commander. We can count on her support, Admiral. I hope so. But we cut the Reaper supply of new Rachni troops and picked up some additional Krogan support. I call that a victory. I've got to get back to it, Commander. Watch yourself out there. Hack it out. Ah. Uh. Shepard, you made it out of there. Sounds like I missed a hell of a fight. Man of Warp says, Arlac Company, we kill Rachni. Arlac Company, today we die. I know. It's like a doomsday song. Rockland says, your emotional torture over the storyline is cold. <laughs> Thank you, Rockland. I'm so glad we, that Grunt survived, but I'm sad about Arlac Company. It was bloody, Rex. We could have used you. Too busy talking rather than fighting. Feeling restless. A war going on and I'm stuck keeping the peace. I heard you made some kind of deal with the Rachni Queen. If they get out of hand again, it's your ass on the line. Understood. I heard Grunt managed to get out of there with a few scratches. You could say that. <laughs> we'll get him patched up, back in the fight. Good to hear. I should get back to it. Keep me posted, Shepard. Psychow says the Ox is always helping other races with the lives of his allies. Yeah, but in this particular case, I mean, I, I think it was it was not only the merciful decision for the sake of an entire species. I mean, we're talking about, what, a, a 12 Krogan who die, but we save the queen of an entire species who can then live again? But then also, think about them in terms of a war asset. The Rachni can replicate really, really quickly. Give them a couple of weeks, a couple of months. We've got an army that can fight the Reapers, right? Let's see what that does in terms of a war asset for us. Alien. Rachni workers. Not at all mindless insects, the Rachni are capable of feats of engineering comparable with any sentient species. While initially greeted with suspicion, the Rachni workers dispatched to the Crucible have integrated into the project smoothly. They work especially well on tasks that could benefit from group work, and senior Crucible staff members are learning to trust the Rachni with more complex problems. Alright, so we got a hundred war assets from that. And then Krogan... Grunt. The perfect Krogan was thrown into the world without a past, a name, or a cause. After destroying the Collectors with Commander Shepard, Grunt returned to Tachanka to learn what it means to be Krogan. After countless arguments and brawls, the clans have granted Grunt a modicum of acceptance. Tough, wary, and cunning, the young Krogan knows this experience will pay off now that it's time to fight the Reaper's forces. While wow, Grunt is worth 25, and an entire species of Rachni workers is 100, Grunt is worth 25% of an entire species effort. That's amazing. Um, wow. But, th but just look at this. We, we saved the entire Hanar and Drell forces, got them to work together, and they're only worth 58. That one event, the Rachni workers, worth 100. Ethan H. says, had you killed the queen, the Reapers would have cloned a new one. It would be unstable and untrustworthy and would betray you. The queen is an asset. Good. I think we made the right call there. Terry Williams says, if Grunt survives Mass Effect 2 but wasn't loyal, he would have died there. Those loyalty missions from Mass Effect 2 are still playing dividends. Awesome. Thank you, Terry. Hoo-wee. Well... All right. Let's see if Rex has anything to say. After all, we did save a bunch of Krogan. Need something, Shepard? That's that's it. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. I had a buddy who got discharged. Category six after Eden Prime. 
Well, if I'd been on Eden Prime, I'd have lost it too. He fought it, said he was still fit for duty. Last thing he told me was that he was joining Cerberus. Uh-oh. So wait, discharged Alliance officers who are unfit for duty for the Alliance join Cerberus? <laughs> I guess that explains a lot. <laughs> All right, here's another one. Uh, dates back to the Rachni Wars. So a Krogan and a Solarian have landed on a Rachni world for a top secret mission. That is unlikely. Solarians rarely took part in raids on Rachni occupied worlds directly. <sighs> Missing the point. So the two guys are climbing up a hill, going through this nasty green fog. And as they get near the top, they come out of the fog, and the Solarian sees thousands of Rachni. He looks over at the Krogan and says, Oh, well, that makes me nervous! The Krogan says, You think that's scary? When this is over, I have to go back down through that fog by myself! Uh, the implication being uh, that the Solarian soldier would be dead. Yes, yes, he yes. is. Thank you for killing the 2,000-year-old joke. That joke plays to racial stereotypes on both sides. <laughs> <laughs> the Krogan appears brutish and insensitive, while the Solarian appears weak. Stereotypes such as exemplified here led to the development and use of the genophage. Well, well, yeah. It's also one of the only jokes you'll hear both Solarians and Krogan telling. Comedy isn't really about being nice. Sometimes it's a way to air out the ugly things people think. A little bit of sage wisdom there from Joker. How's Grunt? Our little tank baby's all grown up, huh? Apparently, he'll be on his feet and killing again in no time. Well, you learn from the best, Commander. Every time he incinerates someone with a shotgun and does that little laugh, he'll think of you. Edie says it was Rachni down there? Yeah. I thought they were on our side after you saved the Queen on Novaria. It wasn't her fault. She got captured. She's with us now. <laughs> Until the next time the Reapers sing a sour yellow note of whatever. Commander? Shepard? I had a question about human behavior. Why is it you never have questions about Asari behavior or Turian behavior? I tried asking Liara questions about the Asari bonding process. She said I do not guard the secrets of the Normandy's crew carefully enough for her to entrust me with such private information. <laughs> the Asari word she used translates as blabbermouth. I think she has become a more private person since becoming the Shadow Broker. Yeah, tell me about it. Hello, Shepard. Wait, I thought she had a question. Well, I guess not. Edie was not in for that joke. That's racist, she says. You know, my lab studied the Rachni. Long distance communication with no time lag, the ability to control workers, and at close range, the Queen can even speak through dead or dying members of other species. Glad they're on our side. If we can develop instant long-range communication without quantum entanglement, maybe when this war is over. Commander? So if, if Jarvik is in Grunt's old spot, where's Grunt? Commander. Not in life support. Wasn't the first time I faced Ragnar. Really? You've seen them before? A few years back. On Novaria, Saren and his minions were trying to extract information from the Rachni Queen. You saw the Queen? Hell, we spoke to her. You spoke? I can't imagine that. The things you've done, sir, they're amazing. Well, it didn't seem that way at the time. Mostly, you're just clawing your way out of one mess and into another, hoping your ass comes along for the ride. 
Just one word, Shepard. Grunt. There'll be a lot more dead Reapers now. Siding with the giant spiders again, huh, Shepard? Let's hope this finally pays off. Most people have never even seen Arachni. The Normandy? We're a regular safari tour. <laughs> if I never see another spider again, I'll die a contented Turian. Unless they have spiders in the afterlife. Damn. <laughs> Maybe later. He really hates bugs. Alt Grendel says, feed the fish. I've got an auto feeder now. I don't have to worry about that. But okay, I'll go up and feed the fish. Hopefully they don't die from too much food. Certainly possible. Would require strengthening exercises. Get muscles to support weaker bone structure. Right. Well, yeah. We're still on that, huh? Alloy of Edie's body not flexible like organic tissue. Morden, my god. Something else, Commander? Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. Grunt's not on the ship, says Chad, but wait, we rescued him on the shuttle. If he's not on the ship, where is he? Shepard, Eve ready for travel to Tuchanka. Nice talking with you, Warden. We'll be here if you need me. Continuing to study Shroud in meantime. Have we found any new engineers for the Crucible Glyph? Five ex-Sonax Industries scientists who attempted to reverse engineer Prothean technology stolen from planet Garvak. They are technically still wanted by the Council for hiding Prothean technology. As well, Sonax's part in instigating an illegal war on Garvak. I'm sure the Council will forgive that for helping with the Crucible. Extend those scientists amnesty and an invitation. Right away. Huh? Working on anything? I'm helping decode some of the Crucible's designs, or trying to. Theoretical particle physics based on specialized base 12 mathematics aren't exactly my specialty. And Javik is his usual forthcoming self. I'd trade my last hundred years to resurrect even one Prothean scientist to help us. Email from Dr. Locke to Admiral Hackett. Security almost opened fire on the Rackney when their ship pulled up to the Crucible, Admiral. I had to invoke your name more than once before they were let on board. They're following instructions, but my god, do I have to tell you how nervous everyone on the project is to see Rackney strutting down the halls? They almost gave Professor Lau a fit. I'll let you know how our next staff, uh, staff meeting goes, Dr. Locke. Audio log, Grunt addresses new Arlac Company recruits. Recruit. Still don't understand why they put a tank-grown freak in charge of a whole company. Grunt. <laughs> and I don't understand why they gave me whining piejacks for soldiers. I have more years on the battlefield than you have kills, Runt. Trying to mate with Salarian females doesn't count as fighting. No one talks to Herc. Someone help him up. We move in an hour. <laughs> I've never seen Krogan move with such purpose. It's a little terrifying. The Krogan are gearing up for a full-scale war. It's nearly indistinguishable from how they normally operate on Tachanka, really. Thanks for coming by. Greetings, Commander. All right, bird of her. I'll go and feed the fish. Hey, fish, are you still alive? They're all still alive. There we go, fish fed. Engineering. How are you, Jarvag? Commander, I understand you faced Rachni on your mission. You know about them? In our cycle, we use them as weapons. Biological proxies. It was before I was born, but every Prothean had heard the stories. When we knew of them, 
The Ragnai spent their lives singing thoughts to each other. But our scientists were more interested in their biology. The Ragnai were well suited to harsh conditions. So we bred them for violence, selecting the most cunning and warlike of the queens. Then we unleashed them upon our enemies. For a time, it worked. Until they became too cunning and warlike and turned on us. We put them down before they could develop any further. We thought they had been exterminated. Yet it seems our experiment evolved into this cycle's nemesis. There was no such thing as trusting the Arachni in our cycle. They were animals. But if they will fight the Reapers now, so be it. <clears throat> Antonio says, Jarvik? Yes, I meant Javik. My bad. Rachni proved the universe favors the strong. Our cycle tried to exterminate them, then yours, and they still survived. I would prefer to be alone. Lycos says, Grunt is at a hospital on the Citadel. Not one you can go to, so there's no more interaction with Grunt for the time being. I see. The Dark Elements says, uh, tested positive today. Don't have much energy. Glad I can watch Mass Effect. Thanks, Oxhorn, for the entertainment. Hope you're well. Thank you, the Dark Elements. Sorry to hear of your diagnosis. I hope you feel better soon. Uh, do come back and let us know uh, how things progress with you. Gabby, is it true you helped repair Edie's mobile frame after that last mission? She just needed an extra pair of hands. I am an engineer, remember? Were oils and lubricants involved? Was there any moaning? In your dreams, Kenneth. Oh my uh, god! My imagination was that good. Wow. Good. All good, Commander. Commander? Poor Engineer Daniels, jeez. <laughs> Have you found that thermal pipe yet? There's probably a store on the Citadel that carries thermal pipe. Thermal pipe on the Citadel. Let's see, there's probably nothing down here, but you never know. Let's go check. Maybe somebody moved down here to... Tinker, no? Let's go talk with the uh, newscaster lady. So, uh, that must get your mouth watering. Can't do a story. That's as classified as it gets. I suppose it would cause a panic. But wouldn't the news drive up recruiting? It might also piss off a Krogan with diplomatic immunity. No thanks. Commander. Okay, we picked up some new armor, didn't we? Armor set. Cerberix Ajax armor. So I lose my health boost. But I get a shield boost. Shield regeneration. Stays the same. But ammo capacity goes way up. Wow. Alright. We'll try it. Cool. Cool. Procurement interface. All right, uh, Chad said I could buy a war asset here, and I need to get thermal pipe. Let's see which one. Uh, collector armor. Fifty-five thousand. What? No. Materian state. Raptor, harpoon gun, terminus armor, 55,000, jeez. Assault rifle, omni blade, cool. Canela exports, separate rifles, gauntlets. Blood dragon armor, we remember that from the last one, Reckoner Knight. Desi and sunfish, ooh, oh yeah, gotta get more, more fish. 
Striped dartfish, yeah. I'm all about the fish. Spectre requisitions. Power grid schematics, those are them. That's not the thermal pipe that we needed, but it's something else. Material gauntlets, inferno armor. Metagel capacity, 11,000. Yeah. Sniper rifle, extended barrel, lots of sniper rifle stuff. Geth plasma SMG, interesting. Cerberus armor. EGEL thermal conduit. These conduit channel conduits channel massive quantities of thermal energy via a thermal conductive gel. They typically are used in the cooling systems of large scale ESO drive cores. This is what I needed, right? Thermal conduit. All right. Uh, James says, uh, uh, James, a member for two months on a bronze ox, says, finally got a chance to see you live. Stay safe. Thank you, James. Well, let's see. I could upgrade the Matic. Pretty useful little uh, assault rifle that I was using there. But nothing I'm interested in just yet. The Raging Krogan says buying stuff on the ship is an extra 10%. Yes, yes, thank you, the Raging Krogan. Rachni? Of all the things that... It's like you got the opposite of a horseshoe up your ass. <laughs> Grunt is crazier than you, and that's saying something. You're better looking, at least. Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? I wish you could have seen that gun on Tachanka firsthand. I cut the auditory emulators and watched that Cerberus cruiser gracefully and silently disintegrate. Beautiful. Sometimes I worry about you, man. Good to see you, Commander. Good to see you, Commander. of that thermal pipe you got us. I went right brilliant. Much better than we expected. I told you it would. It gets better. While interfacing through our ESO capacitors, our Miss Daniels here had an epiphany. I wouldn't go that far. She and Donnelly deduced some theoretical improvements to our capacitor design. Edie and I ran with it and documented our conclusions. Our core is too compact to apply our theories, but it could help the crucible engineers. Give the word and I'll send the plans their way. Do it. Aye, aye. Well done, everyone. Cool. All right. So we got to help the Crucible, too. Shepard. My board is green. Commander. All right, so we've got N7 Cerberus abductions. A lot of stuff over on the Citadel. Let's see what we can do from the star chart here. Let's see if we can get back to the mass relay without uh, finding the Reapers there.
Listening post X-19? What's that? Oh, we must have uh, been there in the past. Roman says, Ox, you already had the Cerberus armor you just equipped. What you unlocked, the last few missions were separate pieces of the standard N7 armor. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay. Cerberus abductions. Guess that's where we're going. None of none of these others have uh, any quests on them. Okay, Arcturus. Benning, the nearest garden world to Arcturus Station, is the primary source of its food supply and an important staging area for starship maintenance and repair. Occupying the planet would be key in any attempt to retake the system's relay. Scattered intelligence indicates that during the battles of Arcturus and Earth, the Reapers sent a small force to Benning to destroy its comm buoys, spaceports, and starships. With the population immobilized and communications cut, the main force concentrated on the larger prize, knowing they could return before repairs could be made or help could arrive. Heat sources in Benning space indicate a non-Reaper presence here. Bill says, clear out as many missions as you can before curing the genophage. All right, will do. And then James says, don't forget to try out your new guns in the Spectre's office so you can get a better feel for them and try out different mods. All right, will do, James. Thank you. All right, let's get uh, Garrus. Let's try Liara. Okay, well, the Madoc was fun, but I want to go back to my pistol, as it's lighter. Magazine upgrade, heat sink. <clears throat> Let's do high caliber barrel. Right, we got eight points now. Great. We could boost up incendiary ammo. I need to work on charge, biotic charge. Increases weapon damage by 15%, <coughs> pardon me, for three seconds after a successful biotic charge or increases power damage and force by 25% for 15 seconds after a successful biotic charge. Let's go with weapon as I usually use the gun immediately after. All right, three points left. Let's save them up to fully max out biotic charge. We got five points here for concussive shot. Let's focus on uh, Turian Rebel. Increases power damage by 20% or increases assault rifle damage by 50%.
Let's do uh, assault rifle damage. Ligar only has four points. Not enough to do anything. Shepard, server strike squads have infiltrated one of the major cities on Benning. Initial reports indicated they were recruiting civilians, but further investigations suggest that the people are being taken against their will. For what purpose? Unknown. We sent a recon team to investigate and the server squads reacted by targeting civilians in public facilities. Officially, service is denying responsibility and condemning the action. They're either lying, or we're dealing with a rogue faction. And innocents are caught in their crosshairs. Exactly. Secure the area so we can establish a rescue lifeline to the rest of the city. Approaching the drop point, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. The people down there are counting on you, Commander. Hack it out. Building an avalanche of civilian SOS requests, Commander. The bulk are concentrated on the upper street. Cerberus forces are pinning them down. You better hurry. On my way. Wait, keep me updated. Roger that. <clears throat> Rockland F says, critical question. If Chowder was indoctrinated, what would that boss fight be like? What would the attack powers and vulnerable spots be? Are you asking me what it would be like to fight my cat? Rockland, this is a critical question, and it's so far beyond my abilities to answer that I'm going to have to give this one a pass. Let's just say I don't really want to be fighting my cat. Comlog Svetlana Al Alexandrov, they have us surrounded. Private security from the depot tried to help, but they got slaughtered. Someone has to know. Someone has... I hurry or can I look around and get loot? PDA, be careful, Nemo. If you can read this, stay away from the taxi stand. That place is crawling with Cerberus soldiers, Ellie.
Man of Warp says... Try to uh, stay calm. This is another area which becomes a multiplayer map. Just stay down. Commander, more Cerberus troops are heading your way. If you can hold the line there, it'll give us civilians time to escape. You heard him. We hold here. Okay, well that was it, huh? Fine. 
Well, do we walk around looking for war assets? That's the way to the shuttle. But there's the shuttle. But I don't want to leave this map and then have what someone in the chat scream, Oxhard! War assets! You missed the war assets! Oh, what's this? Oh, we read that. Mechanical Cyborg says, Hey, Ox, hope everyone is doing well. Thank you, Mechanical Cyborg. We are getting through. Right. I'm gonna call this one clear. Wait, Matt Rowland says there's a tiny dog tag here, Ox, close to the back alley area. Tiny dog tags in a back alley. Tags are in the street, says Chad. Dog tags, dog tags. Where would the dog tags be? By the pillars, says Matt Rowland. Pillars? You just passed it, you just ran over it, says the chat. Okay. By the pillars. Dog tag. More dog tags? That was small. I think that's it. against other cities on Benning. Cerberus still denying responsibility? Yes, and for once we're inclined to believe them gunning down innocent humans isn't their usual M.O. Either way, the civilians down there have a chance now. We're solidifying a foothold and getting people out, then we'll move to liberating the rest of the planet. I hope we can say the same for Earth. One day, Commander. For now, we've got our work cut out for us. Carry on. Okay. Alliance. 
New War Asset, Arcturus First Division. The Arcturus First Division is a volunteer army of civilians, paramilitary forces, and reserve soldiers who have banded together to stop the Reaper occupation of the planet Benning. To avoid detection by Reaper forces, its members operate in cells, never staying in one place long. A handful of Alliance officers are coordinating the First Division, sharing intel and sending supplies to the resistant soldiers. A few Alliance squadrons have been spared to support Benning's makeshift army with trained soldiers. We got 60 from that. Cool. So, Sarah, how about your buddy? The one who joined Cerberus. You heard from him? No, I cut ties. Reported him, for whatever good that did. No way I want that crap on my record. Commander? Maximum dynamic pressure is approaching. Throttle down for minimal resistance. Thanks, Mom. If that is how you categorize me, I will tell you to stop slouching. Hello, Shepard. <laughs> right, well, that was such a small mission, I don't think it updated um, conversations with the rest of the crew. Ethan H. says that after you visit the Citadel and turn in some quests, it should be safe to do Tachanka. Just, dear God, don't do the story while in Cerberus armor. Oh, okay. So back to the Citadel then, eh? Okay, that's everything, I think. Robin on Facebook says, hiya, hiya Robin. Uh, all right, so these are DLCs. We'll go to the Alliance docks. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Uh, no. I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. Matt Rowland says you have to scan things to find... You can scan Arcturus Station. You have to scan Ox to find things. All right, Matt. They're going to call for boarding pretty soon. I should. I know. Listen, I've heard ads for a place called Sanctuary. It's supposed to be a safe haven from the war. I want you and the girls to go. What? I just... I don't want to worry about you, okay? Okay. I'll see if I can get along. I'll send a message for Neri's birthday. I thought you were supposed to avoid sending messages. It's a stupid rule, anyway. The homeless homeworld has fallen to Reaper forces, though his refugees are reportedly fleeing to Turian colonies. All right, so nothing new here. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Uh, let's try the holding area. 
One moment, please. Courtney Zayas says you have to scan the systems without missions as well, Ox. All right. Now arriving at Should I do those e before doing priority? Emergency civilian housing. Tachanka? Or can I do them after? There he is. Are you okay? I've just been standing here, holding this for I don't know how long. He'll always be a part of me. Your past is yours. No one can take that away. I love you, but I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. Goodbye, Robert. Whew. Almost missed it. You give me strength. Thank you. Plus two reputation. I just need a few moments to myself. I recovered your pillars of strength from the kite's nest. They're yours, waiting in bay D-24. Thank you. Right now, my people need any reminder of the faith they can get. All right. Welcome to Batarian State Arms. Batarian State Arms, defending the hegemony. All right, we turned that one in to the Batarians. There's Kelly. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I need to apologize to you. About what? Back when I was your yeoman, I betrayed you. I didn't mean to, but I did. What are you talking about, Kelly? I would send reports to the elusive man about the emotional state of the crew, including everything I knew about you. I thought we were all on the same team, that I was helping you, protecting you. But looking back... Don't worry about it. You were there for me. And I kind of liked you keeping a close eye on me. <laughs> and I kind of enjoyed looking. Thank you. That means so much to me, Commander. All right, all is forgiven. These refugees have no place to go. These refugees have no place to go. Using Hades Gamma as a staging area, the Reaper forces have rapidly expanded into the Gemini Sigma and Voyager clusters. Hey. Hey, I've assumed full control of Eclipse, and we're committed to moving forward with Aria. All right. Except the Reapers. Ever see the size of one of those things? All right, I think that's everything for down here. Moving on to the next sector. Laura El Elstad says, that's okay, Kelly. The dance makes up for it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Welcome, she was Commander there for Shepherd. us in her please own way. The destination. Okay, let's try Citadel Embassies. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Yes, I have spoken to you before. Why do you refuse to help me? If it's Using possible that my son Bilal is alive, I will not rest until he's found. Expanded into the Gemini have you found my son? I found your son's body in the slums on Benny. 
He sacrificed himself to save his squad. I... Uh, see. Their guilt made them avoid me. They should feel honored by his sacrifice. I... I know that I do. Thank you, my friend. That was the dog tag, right? All right, plus five reputation. Man of Warp says, In my playthrough, I never forgive Kelly because betrayal is unpardonable. I mean, I agree, but uh, I wouldn't really consider that betrayal because she didn't know she was betraying Shepard. At the time, Shepard himself was talking to the elusive man and giving the elusive man updates as to what he was doing, and Kelly was working for the elusive man on a ship owned by the elusive man. All she was do doing was uh, giving the elusive man updates about the emotional state of the crew, right? Which is not really a betrayal. She wasn't actively trying to undermine Shepard. At least she didn't think she was. So it's kind of up to interpretation, really. Do we want to interpret that as betrayal? Kelly kind of did. She uh, was worried about it. But that was only in hindsight. When she was talking with the elusive man, she didn't think it was betrayal. Roman Adams says scanning can be done at any time, but is trickier as Reapers take over more systems. Some systems can be scanned risk-free early, but no real time limit. Okay, thank you, Roman. Dr. Dude Who says, man, seeing that ambassador worry for his son makes me worry about a certain super fan. I wonder where he is. I don't know. Perhaps you can help me. I'm looking for my son. But we spoke about this already. I told you about his mission and... Nonsense. I just filled out the paperwork. He's very punctual when he's on the field. He checks in every week. Only he hasn't checked in for a while now. We've heard this one before, haven't we? Anyway, I'd like to file an expedited contact request. I think we did. Yes, of course, ma'am. I think uh, after we exhaust all dialogue from that, it sort of recycles. All right, we don't need to talk to Commander Bailey. I don't think we need to talk to Udina. We can try. Shepard? Yep, nothing new. I should go. I'll be here. Freddy Simmons says, don't forget about the fetch quest in the Shrike Abyssal. It's a cluster in the upper part of the galaxy map. All right. Partner benefits increase. Reservists called to active duty are not drawing full pay because of the scale of the galactic threat and the massive funding required to match salaries and partner benefits for so many on short notice. Using Spectre Authority to mandate salary matching for all personnel with partners or dependents on the Citadel would require cuts to tax incentives and post-war economic stimulus goals. Uh... I guess we authorize. Okay. The M77 Paladin, Hurricane, Defender. I'm hesitant to buy any weapons and ammunition as we tend to find most of this out in the field anyway. War Asset updated Citadel Defense Forces. All right. Welcome, 
Commander Shepard. Please uh, let's check the purgatory bar. One moment, please. Try not to uh, trigger Arya's side quest. Now arriving at ward level purgatory. Your wife and the kids went on that trip you mentioned a while back. Where was it again? They canceled the trip. Donated the funds to some charity when Earth was hit. And then, Paladin. Shit. I'm sorry. Don't mean to interrupt you, but I found these schematics. They're pretty old, but maybe they could help you? Oh. Those really are old, but solid. We could totally convert our current systems to this. Thanks. All right. I'm almost done with the system upgrade. Yeah, I know. It's going to be amazing. Hey, could we maybe give a portion of our profits to a Krogan charity? I mean, it's old, but we are using their tech, right? Everyone have a drink? Yeah. Raise a glass, boys. Belal Osoba. Only on account of him do I still draw breath. Belal Osoba, one brave son of a bitch. Here, here. Belal Osoba. Do you guys have a tab? We're the dancers. I want dancers. Well, the dance floor's over there. Not dancers, dumbass. Dancers. Why are here for short leave, not the Viennese walls? Uh, I, I, I don't, um... Oh, come on. If there's an ass shaking somewhere on this station, you guys know where it is. She's still trying to get in on the lads night. But I'm going to avoid Arya for now. As I don't want to trigger a DLC. When we get back to Earth, I'm buying. You sure you don't want to buy me a drink? Pyro says Arya's DLC starts in a different place. Okay, well then I won't worry about it then. Oh yeah, getting down and dirty. She loves that wall. Look how much she loves that wall. Man, that wall. They need to get a room. But then if she got a room, that would have four walls. Might be cheating on what that wall, but four walls from the other room. I don't know. It's tricky when you're into walls. All right. Look who's here. The Blue Sun's blood pack and eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Is there anything on your mind? What exactly have I acquired? An army that's willing to fight dirty, to do the things your respectable militaries won't do. Eclipse Max and Vorcha legions are excellent candidates for vanguards in any ground offensive. Well worth the little song and dance I had you perform, I'm sure. All right. Whatever you say, Arya. Don't be a stranger. Sean McElroy, a member for eight months, and a bronze ox, says, what was slash were your favorite games on the NES? Oh, gosh. I enjoyed uh, Super Mario 2, 
Super Mario Brothers 2, Super Mario Brothers 3. Played those a lot. Alright, hold on a second. My dog is barking. Let's see if there's something outside. just the neighbor dog. He wanted to uh, run outside and play with her. Alright. We're quickly making progress Welcome through Citadel. Please select the destination. Check out the hospital. One see if moment, we can find Ashley or Rex. Or no, Grunt. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. No, it's fine. We won't be needing your supplies after all. No, we found a better variant of Metagel that allows for an even higher absorption rate. We already did that one, and we talked with Thane. Coming by again, Shepard? I'm flattered. I think we asked all of these already. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. We're at this little farm. We killed a few enemy scouts, and it's, it's quiet. The shuttle gets called away for support, so I'm there for the night. The humans get me dinner, show me around. One of them, this freckled farm girl, maybe. 15. She wants to hear all about what it's like to be a commando. You were probably the most exciting thing ever to land at her farm. Yeah. She's saying she wants to be a pilot, and I say that life on a ship is grimy. And she asks if I'd like to use their shower. Going by my records, you'd been on active duty for more than three weeks. Probably no real chance to get clean in all that time. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Hello again, Commander. You're to see our patient? How's Ashley doing? Very well. Her rate of recovery is amazing. I still want to keep her under observation, but she should be fit for duty soon. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. Cerberus forces have reportedly attacked a Solarian... Okay, let's see if we can get more of that story. Solarian officials have no Matriarch Athena that our huntresses should have the upgrades waiting for them on their next shore leave. No, they were very easy to scale. The humans made some amazing breakthroughs. That was the Metagel thing we turned in. Listen to me, those prototypes are vital. We need these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. get those prototypes back. This project accomplishes nothing. Thank you very much for your time. I'll call you if anything develops. So I still need something for him? Good to see you up and around. Yeah. Everything all right? I guess. Oh, I took Udina's offer. Spectre status. Congratulations. Seems small compared to what's going on. You ready for the responsibilities of a Spectre? Doesn't feel real yet. Maybe it'll sink in. I don't know what duties I'll have. Everything's a mess right now. 
What do you think of all this? You're a fine soldier with an impressive record. You deserve this. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. He said we'll have the official ceremony soon. Once I'm out of here. And after? Any plans to come back to the Normandy? If I have anything to say about it, yes. I'm glad. You feeling better? I'm fine. Other than the pile of paperwork the doc's gonna throw at me. Sorry I'm so distracted, Shepard. It's just... What's going on? I heard from my mom. They got out in time. Hey! They're okay. Good. That's good news. It is. Did your sister make it to the Citadel? She did. But... Her husband was killed in action. I'm sorry, Ash. Thanks. Yeah. Sarah wasn't much for the military life. We were all surprised when they got married. I wonder how many families are getting torn apart by the Reapers. I don't want to think about it. Seems hopeless sometimes. Don't blame yourself for this, Ashley. I know. But I'm her big sis, you know. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced or cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody, but unbowed. What's that from? Invictus, by Henley. One of my dad's sappy poets. It's about not giving up. Right. My sister wants to do a thing at the memorial. Nothing fancy. Just some words about the family. It'll be tough. Keep me posted, all right? Will do. And thanks, Shepard. All right, maybe we'll see her back aboard the Normandy in time. Clone tissue replacement takes months. You'll need a prosthetic. Oh no. I highly recommend talking to our resident psychiatrist before the operation. Okay, and that's the hospital level done. when Neyra came. Neyra was another huntress on your ship? Yeah, a friend. I, I wanted it to be more than that, but she had a, a medical condition. It's okay, it's in the file. The farm girl calls in to me that another Asari is here. I thought the shuttle had gotten back early. I come out in a towel and, and Neyra walks through the door, but it wasn't her, not anymore. No, oh, what? What? Freddie Simmons says that story with the two Asari in the hospital is really gripping. It used to be that you could advance it by moving out of earshot momentarily. Sad that they changed it in the Legendary Edition. Well, let's see what happens if we take the elevator and come back. She came out of the shower. She's wearing a towel. Welcome what happens next? Please select the destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at one moment, please. Now arriving at Puerta Memorial Hospital. She's got this glow. And the Reapers. They did to her what they do to everyone. She's covered in. I don't know. Glowing. She reaches out. Her eyes go black. And she touches one of the farmers, and he just dies. They panic. She rips them apart, sometimes touching, sometimes opening them up with biotics. The humans are turning into liquid. And I'm there, in my towel with no gun. And husks start pouring through the door. Goddess. So I ran. Oh. What happens next? Welcome, Commander. One Shepherd. moment, please. Now arriving. One moment, please. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. I got out of that farm and into the hills. The 
pulled the farm girl after me. All I wanted to do was live through the night. Nobody else could have done more. But morning came and no shuttle. Afternoon and then night and I'm hiding from husks and those Turian things. The file says the evacuation team thought your position was overrun. So after two days, I still don't have a gun because those Turian things, you can't use theirs. I realize that shuttle isn't coming. Not unless I get back to the farm and my radio. And the farm girl? She was with me. Even killed a few husks. <laughs> with a stick. <laughs> cool. And then? Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment, please. Now arrive. One moment, please. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. So you went back to the farm. We snuck down the hill. We were hungry, filthy. I, I, I turned the towel into a kind of tunic. They cleaned up the bodies to make more husks, I figured. But there were still farmers alive. They were being held prisoner. And Neyra was there, directing the other forces. I could see her. I, I got within 10 meters of her. They just had my gun. What happened next? I got to the prisoners. The farm girl unlocked their restraints, and that's when they all started screaming. What? Why? Why would they start screaming when she unlocks their restraints? Back to the elevator. Got to get more of this story. Welcome, Commander. Shepard. One moment, please. How does it end? Tell me, there's a good ending. I mean, she's in a hospital suffering from now PTSD, so moment, probably not a good ending. But I gotta hear it. What is it? Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. The prisoners were indoctrinated. Oh. I think. And once the alarm was sounded? Yeah, Ira's eyes were black. The whole time, not just for a second. I could feel her mind from where I was standing. And the humans were in the way, attacking us. I used my biotics, flung them around. I I've been horrified when Naira tore the farmers apart, but guys, I ripped them in half. And it felt good. There's nothing shameful about feeling an adrenaline rush during battle. <laughs> I might have killed more than Naira and those husks did. She wanted them alive, to turn them. And I... And you survived. But the farm girl... She sat there watching all of this, right? Watching... Welcome, this Commander person Jeff that she survived moment. with tear up her entire friends and family. How did she react to that? Now arrive one moment, please. Julian Z says that lol, only Ox would ride the elevator for the lore. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. You know me. We tried to run again, but we were blocked. And the farm girl? Her leg was broken, bleeding bad. I knocked down a wall in a barn with a big warp field. I'm so proud of that. And we hid. They must have searched for you. I'm an Asari huntress. No damn husk is gonna find me unless I let it. But the farm girl who was with you? Her leg was broken. She was whimpering at me in the Neira. I, I saw her through a hole in the boards. She was coming closer with those dead black eyes. And Hillary, the farm girl, ah! she couldn't stop crying. No! They were gonna hear. No! What did you do? What do you think? What did she do? <laughs> Gotta find out more. Did he just she kill the farm girl? Now arrive one moment, please. Now arriving at Puerta Memorial Hospital. In addition to your medical discharge, the government wants to give you a medal. The intel you provided when that shuttle finally found you? You saved a lot of lives. And I killed those farmers. They were indoctrinated. You had to defend yourself. And as for Hillary... Oh, you idiot. When I took a shower and left my gun in the bedroom, I killed them. Ira. At least she can blame the Reapers. But I'm just... Me. The color on my eyes. Did they turn back after? 
Could I get that gun now? I'll see what I can do. Now we understand why she is always asking about a gun. Wow, Welcome, what a story. Commander Shepard. One moment, please. Okay, so that's it. She killed the farm girl. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Pretty dark. I have plans to return to a room, but business here keeps luring me back. Perhaps it's for the best, all things considered. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Please visit any of our Elkos Combine affiliate branches for any and all personal... Welcome to Kanala Exports. We appreciate your visit. Where is this going? Because if this isn't serious, then we need to talk. These are two different things. You're important to me, but I... It's not healthy to rush from one relationship to another. Whoa. Well, I need to rush somewhere. If I end it with him, then I lose my partner benefits. And that includes my apartment. Okay, so maybe, just for your own security, you need to figure out an exit strategy before you talk with him. I thought I had. And I cherish the time we've had together. Oh, but, but... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but... Ooh, that's nasty. Oh, that Asari is playing her heart dirty. Idiots who paid through the cloaca to get to sanctuary will have nothing. I, however, will be rolling in the credits and future ex-wives. Well, if you say so, maybe I... Maybe I won't go to sanctuary. Now you get it. Trust me, Sarah. You'll thank me later. Hmm. Where is this sanctuary we keep hearing about? <laughs> Badass fully. Love it. Man of Warb says her story was based off what a SEAL team infamously went through in Afghanistan. Really? I didn't know that. That guy's still waiting on that door. I don't think I can do this anymore. I know what you mean. I thought our training prepared us for everything but this. Every time that Asari commando sees me, she just starts screaming. I can even hear it when I'm trying to sleep now. I'm supposed to be helping her, but I feel like I'm breaking her world. All right, we've heard that one. So it looks like their dialogue is cycling over and over again. We can't talk with what's her name in prison. Yoda says, remember Hillary from Tip Tree, Ox? Hillary from Tip Tree? Garrus is in cargo hold A? How did we miss Garrus? gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go to Welcome to Nosostra Sporting Goods. Thank you for shopping at Nosostra Sporting Goods. Oh, you're... Excuse me. 
I'm sorry. You need to hear this. Oh, Blue Rose of Helium. If these humble words reach you, then I have joined my ancestors. No. Ready to help defend No, no, no. My dream was to be by your side, a weed beside your beauty, twining together in the warm Tachanka sun. Oh, Char. But if my last days must be with Krant instead of kindness, still I will remember the perfume of your scent and the soft touch of your petals. <gasps> Let my broken bones build a wall around your garden so you and the flower we planted together can grow safe and strong. Wow, he is poetic. Thank you. Uh, I should... I need to go. Well, she really loved him. Is that the same couple we met in Mass Effect 2? Hey, Joker. Is it time to return to the Normandy? I'm getting propositioned with increasing frequency. <laughs> Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Casa Fabrication Weaponry hasn't forgotten Earth. Neither should you. All right, I think that's it. Yes, they are, says the chat. What a sad ending to that love story. Oh, no. Matriarchs aren't going to do anything to you. Especially in the we already heard their dialogue. My reports don't show much activity from the Asari military against the Reapers. Come on. Well, Asari Infiltration and sabotage. But against Reaper forces, that's... About as useful as tits on a hand. Good thing you bought the tour. Okay, I think that's all. Let's head back to the Normandy. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay D24. Well, unless the chat objects, we'll go ahead and do the priority to Chanka mission. As we've done all of the side quests, I believe, that we would have been unable to complete had we done Tachanka first. Let's do a hard save. All right, the Krogan DMZ, cure the genophage. That said, I mean, we could go to each of these little uh, blue galaxies where the Reapers haven't been yet and start exploring. Is it worth our time to do that? We'll try that after we cure the genophage. Got a little less than an hour left, folks. Roman Adams says, Badassfully. Get yourself down to the hangar and sort your armor out, Oxhorn. That terrorist crap is not okay in polite company. <sighs> right. Time to change my armor. Because the chat doesn't like Cerberus armor. Fine. Uh, okay. So back to armor set one. Helmet. Shield regeneration. I like shield regeneration. Chest. Shoulders. Ooh. Weapon damage and headshot damage. Melee damage, eh. There we go.
Ammo capacity. Weapon damage. Let's try ammo capacity. All right, save and exit. There you go. I'm no longer using any... Hold on. Let's see. Helmet. Hold on. I like shield regeneration. There you go. Shroud facility. All hands, full stop. Hostiles detected at the landing coordinates. Joker, what have you got? Sensors show a Reaper parked at the Shroud facility. No way you're gonna be able to land a shuttle there. Get everyone assembled in the war room. I want eyes on the Shroud. Aye, aye, sir. New form of Reaper, Shepard. Using Shroud to poison Tuchanka's atmosphere. Problematic. They want to fight! They just got one. Primark, we're gonna need your help. That could be difficult. Our losses on Palavin have been catastrophic. We're doing this for Palavin. No one said it would be easy. What do you have in mind? A combined attack. Your people hit the Reaper with an airstrike. Rex, at the same time, your soldiers will be attacking from the ground. Together, you can draw it away from the tower. Yes, distraction. Small team can reach Shroud facility, finish synthesizing cure. We'll need Eve to come with us. Roman Adams says, in my opinion, Liara and Garrus are best for Tachanka. Thank you, Roman. It sounds good to me. Matt Luden on Facebook with a donation of stars says, uh, do you mind please trying to check Facebook once in a while? It was over 30 minutes since I donated the first time. <laughs> uh, sorry there, Matt. Uh, yeah, let me scroll up there. Yeah, he says earlier, got in a bit late. Did you decide on the cure? I'm anxious to watch the upload later. Well, sorry for the delay there, Matt. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we're heading on over to do the cure. We've never faced a Reaper up close like this. Everyone on board? There's even a doubt? Let's move, Pijak. It's time to cure the genophage. Commander, incoming message marked urgent. I'll put it in the comm room for you. Dalatrus? Commander Shepard, we know you've reached Tuchanka. And by now, I imagine Morden Solus has proposed using the Shroud. Are you spying on us? Hardly. The Shroud is the only viable course of action open to you. Commander, you can't allow your misguided sympathy for the Krogan to cloud your judgment. Do you honestly believe curing the Genophage will end in lasting peace? We have to give the Krogan that chance. You can't condemn an entire race to extinction based on what might happen. What will happen is the Krogan will reproduce out of control. We uplifted them specifically for their violent nature, not their diplomatic skills. Another war is inevitable. What do you want, Dalatras? Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you were planning couldn't be done. Morden will likely detect this malfunction and repair it. But if you ensure that he doesn't, then the cure's viability will be altered just enough so that it fails. No one will notice the change. Mm. You mean trick the Krogan? They need not be any the wiser. Let Erdnot Rex believe you fulfilled your promise. Morden would never stand for that. How you deal with him is up to you, Commander. We can provide you our very best scientists to build the Crucible, and the full support of our fleets. If I sabotage the cure. Think about it, Commander. Oh. The choice is yours. Wow. Uh, they should be providing that anyway. I mean, we're fighting the Reapers. Well, 
They're basically holding the universe hostage just so that we don't cure the genophage. Dr. Stino says you're about to see a worm sign the likes of which even Harbinger has never been seen before. Also, don't worry too much about the Dalatras. Okay. Let's get Garrus and Liara. to assemble at the hollows it's our sacred meeting ground we'll land there and take an armored convoy against the reaper this will be the defining moment of krogan history krogan history filled with defining moments most bloody hope this one better <laughs> commander you seem troubled uh, Matt Luden says I'll just say this there are consequences either way good luck no spoilers please chat you're right, there are consequences either way. It's hard to predict them. These people are working with me in good faith. And I'm not about to go against them and hide this from them. From a promise, due to a promise from the Dalatras, who has shown herself to be cunning. So I'm just going to reveal the Shroud Sabotage. I got a message. Rex, it's Reeve. The Reapers are already at the hollows. Come out with guns blazing. Hang on tight. We're heading in. I'm not digging this helmet that Shepard's wearing. Ooh, and he got interrupted. Yeah, Rex! Shepard, keep them away from the female. I'll sort out what's happening with the other clan. Everyone pick your targets and keep an eye on our six. Now move! Here they come! Push forward. Don't let them get up here. Keep them away from the female. songs about this someday. Reaper blood has finally soaked our soil. We have to get to the Shroud. The airstrike is on its way. Female safe, Shepard. Vitals are strong. What's a Solarian doing here? Nobody said anything about this. Multiple Krogan. Problematic. Who are you? Erdnot Reeve. Brood brother to our illustrious leader. <laughs> Reeve and I share the same mother and nothing else. For which I'm thankful. I remember what it means to be a true Krogan. <laughs> we flay our enemies alive and drown them in a geyser of their own blood. We don't invite them into our home. The Salarian is not your enemy. He's here to help cure the genophage. His kind gave us the genophage. Why should we trust him? Because oh! oh! I do. And so will you. <laughs> Enough! You can stay here and let old wounds fester as Krogan have always done. Or you can fight the enemy you were born to destroy. 
and win a new future for our children. I choose to fight. Who will join me? I will. And so will I. Now hold your heads high like true Krogan. There's a Reaper that needs killing! <laughs> All right, they united them. Ooh, look at them go. They're rolling out. Copy that, Artemek. We're on our way, trying to make up lost time. Shepard out. Reed isn't the only Krogan who wants revenge for the Genophage, Rex. You'll have to placate them somehow. I'll demand the Council return some of our old territory. We'll need room to expand. Recapture the glory of the Ancients. Glory of Ancients led to Krogan rebellions, countless deaths, creation of Genophage, expansion plan problematic. Garen Evans says personal recommendation, disable helmets for cutscenes in the game settings. You get armor perks for combat, but good visuals for cutscenes. Yeah, I'll do that if I can, when I have a, uh, an opportunity. What were the ancient Krogan like? Tachanka wasn't always a wasteland. In the old times, the Krogan were a proud people. We had dreams, a future to look forward to. Until Solarian interference? No, we destroyed Tachanka ourselves. Technology changed us. It made life too easy. So we looked for new challenges and found them in each other. Nuclear war was inevitable. But now our planet is rubble. We'll need a better place to live. I mean, expansion is fine, as long as they're expanding to planets that aren't always inhabited. I'd say helping defeat the Reapers would be worth a new planet. Or ten. You haven't seen how fast we can pop them out. Rex. <laughs> what? With the Genophage cured, we'll have a lot of catching up to do. Commander, on the shuttle, was there something you were going to say? The Dalatras tried to cut a secret deal with me. What kind of deal? She said they sabotaged the Shroud years ago. The cure won't work unless we fix it. Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you're planning couldn't be done. And she thought we wouldn't know better? Correctly. Would likely have fooled tests. But familiar with STG work, can adjust. Did not come this far for nothing. You just spared our race another genocide, Commander. I told you we could count on him. Why are we stopping? Rex, you and Morden stay with Eve. It's looking ugly out here. Will do. Man of Orb says Rex is a single point of failure, and Eve's influence will diminish. Might diminish. What then? I mean, it's a really good point. Uh, it's hard to believe that Rex alone is going to unite all of the clans and make them forget the past and forgive the genophage. It's also hard to believe that Eve alone is going to be able to convince everybody to go along with Rex's plan. If those two points of failure do fail, then the Alliance will have lost control of the Krogans. It's a great point, but this seems like the best option still. Dragon Fan says, Rex may not be dumb enough to f fall for that trick, so it's worth the risk of losing both the Krogan and the Turians if he finds that you tricked him. Yeah, I agree. I mean, they're not stupid, uh, so which is why I didn't want to trick them. The point is, I think, that the entire universe right now has to defeat the Reapers. And anything that empowers the Alliance to defeat the Reapers is going to be worth it. 
we can deal with a post-Reaper universe after we defeat the Reapers. If that means we have to fight the Krogans because they couldn't get a handle on themselves, well, there's always another genophage. Not that I suggest we use it, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Right now we gotta defeat the Reapers. Look at that reap. The end of the world out there. A Grawl Spike Thrower. What on earth is that? It's a shotgun? Weight goes up. Capacity goes down. Damage goes down. Why would I use this? I mean, it looks cool, but I don't think I'm going to swap it out. It does slightly more damage. I see. So because I've modified this one, it does more damage. And remember to bring it back when you're done. Make sure your Solarian pet stays in the truck with you. What's happening, Shepard? We can't sit around like this. This combustion manifold isn't going to last long. Let's get moving. What's the holdup? Roads out. The convoy can't make it through. Turian Wing Artemek, this is Shepard. We've been delayed. Hold off your attack. Negative, Commander. Our approach is locked. The Reaper are coming to us from here. Crap. An airstrike alone won't do it. We have to get in that fight. We have to build a new road. We're going. Shepard! I've lost control. I can't pull up. We'll find another way. There's a tunnel over there. Could be a way off. We're not going that Get way. Get to it! Terry Williams says, don't forget all new weapons are level one. Right. <clears throat> Freddie Simmons says, Ox, check your game options to see if you can hide the helmet for conversations. All right, all right, all right, all right. Graphics. Uh... Gameplay. Power use of the opposite action icons. Shepard's helmet. Off in conversations. Squad mate helmets. Off in conversations. There we go. You guys happy? All right. Back. Rex, are you receiving this? Is everyone okay? Yeah, just scratches. Nothing the Solarian can't patch up. Reeves truck made it out too. The Turians had to call off the airstrike. We'll need a new plan for dealing with the Reaper. First we'll have to find you. Where did you end up? Underground. We see ruins of some kind. Commander, that's the city of the ancients. How do we get out? No maps exist. It's been abandoned for thousands of years. Oh, You're great! A trailblazer, Shepard. Get through there and we'll find a place to meet up. Nothing will stop this cure. Oh, fine. 
ancient temples, no map of the place, two paths ahead, and it's shaking. Fun. Okay, a pathway to the right going down. And that's the gap we saw up there. Ooh. This is actually kind of cool. It's just really bad timing. Man of Warp says this is why actual militaries have operations and planning staffs. So their attacks don't use broken roads as ingress routes. Makes sense to me. Oh dear, what is this? Ancient Krogan artifact. Hey, yeah. Fascinating. This painting suggests Krogan had an artistic side. Pad being the operative word. And now they have rubble. Oh, uh, well, okay. What now? Is it that room? We're going to this? Oh yeah, here we go. There it is again. That didn't feel like a tremor to me. Rex, are you guys feeling these tremors? Not up here. It could be something else, Commander. It is said that Kalros, the mother of all Thresher Maws, lives in this region. Which is another reason to get your ass out of there, Shepard. Step on it. <laughs> Did I hear that right? Kalros, the mother of all Thresher Maws. When the Krogan name a Thresher Maw, you know you're in trouble. <laughs> they don't think anyone's ever going to kill it. Oh boy. Uh, we got a Codex update here. Do you not, we don't have, uh, maybe we can do the Thresher Maw. There we go. Thresher Maws, are, Thresher Maws are subterranean carnivores that spend their entire lives eating or searching for something to eat. Threshers reproduce via spores that can lie dormant for millennia, yet are robust enough to survive prolonged periods in deep space and atmospheric reentry. As a result, thresher spores appear on many worlds, spread by previous generations of space travelers. The body of a thresher never entirely leaves the ground. Only the head and tentacles erupt from the earth to attack. In addition to physical attacks, Threshers have the ability to project toxic chemicals and emit bursts of infrasound as a shockwave weapon. The Alliance first encountered Threshers on the colony of Akuz in 2177. After contact was lost with the Pioneer team, Marine units were deployed to investigate. The shore parties were set upon by hungry Threshers and nearly the entire assault force was killed. Alliance forces recommend engaging Threshers with vehicle-mounted heavy weapons. Right. And we're on foot. Great. Ancient Krogan artifact. Wild Guess says that's Cal Ross. If that's what we've been hearing down here, I suggest we get moving. got Rachni here. Keep an eye out. I know. A few of them just attacked us. All that matters is getting to that shroud. Find us fast. Finally, light ahead. In my younger days, I would have loved to have spent time here studying these ruins. 
It makes you wonder what the Krogan might have done if they hadn't blown up the planet. Rex, we made it back outside. Well, if you can see sunlight, that's progress. And the color green. I thought plants were extinct around here. You're looking at hope. All that's left of it on Tachanka. This is once a world full of beauty. Given a chance, it can be again. Shepard, that Reaper is still up to no good at the Shroud. Find a way out of there and we'll pick you up. We're on it. Dealing with the Reaper when we get there will be another matter. So, how many centuries has it been since I the- I never knew the Krogan had this in them. Maybe Eve is right. Curing the genophage might lead to a Krogan renaissance. Seeing all this does make you wonder. Ahead, we've got movement! Nothing stays quiet here for long. I can't see. Pistol is great. Cat Magic says this is one of my favorite missions in Mass Effect 3. It's beautiful. We're learning a lot about the uh, Krogan lore here, which is great. I mean, I have the question, why are these guys dropping ammunition? <laughs> but, I'll take it. Shepard, how's it coming? We're still in the ruins. Get a move on. Rex, that Reaper Rex hasn't moved. moved. She's the on the skies, we'll get some ideas on that. Bonnie. Not now, Rex. The commander has enough to worry about. What's happening? Some crazy idea we can talk about later. Just worry about getting out of there right now. Okay, bit of overlapping dialogue there, but I think we get the gist. Right there. I didn't say it would be easy. 
<laughs> Garrus. <laughs> oh god. Oh yeah. Gotti. It's like a grenade shotgun. I love this thing. Okay. Come on, give me some more ammo. I keep walking and interrupting dialogue. Uh, Morden's great. Uh, <laughs> Rex is like, tell me something I don't know. Iron and truck, good iron supplement for Thresher Maw. What Fre a wasteland. I see Rex's point about needing a new home. Re uh, Freddy Simmons says, Priority to Chanka is one of the two missions in the game that was virtually unchanged when the story of Mass Effect 3 was rewritten following the leak in November of 2011. Well, this story is great so far. I'm loving every minute of it. Let's see if we can get down there. SMG scope one. Fine. We'll find that in an ancient Krogan ruin. Cool. I'm here, Rex! Shepard, get over here. Breathe. Keep an eye out for that mall. I don't want it sneaking up on us. Make it quick, Rex. We're exposed. Move it! Oh, boy. It's Kalroth. Move, Shepard. We're in. Go! What about Reed? No way he survived that. But he was a pain in the ass anyway. Now let's finish this. There's a Reaper waiting for us. Oh, they leave him behind? That might come to bite him in the butt later. We don't have a plan for this. I know we've beaten the odds before. But getting to that tower, 
I don't know. We're curing the genophage no matter what it takes. Everything my people will ever be depends on it. Then I hope this idea you were talking about is a good one. It was hers, actually. Cow Ross. We summon her to the Reaper. Would that even work? Already discussed strategy. Just need to distract Reaper. Draw it from power while cure synthesized. Released. What makes you so sure she'll come? Legends say she is the mother from which all other Thresher Maws spawn. This is as much her home as ours. If Tuchanka has a temper, Kalros is it. Nobody's ever faced her and survived. I've taken some risks in my time, but this seems crazy. And going head to head with Sovereign didn't? This is the only way to get to that tower and release the cure. There's no other choice. But how would we summon her? The tower was built in an arena devoted to Kalros's glory. The Salarians thought she would scare away intruders. Appears to have worked. <laughs> there are two Mockhammers there, the largest in existence. If you can activate them, Kalros will come. That should distract the Reaper. Meanwhile, laboratory nearby. We'll finish synthesizing Cure. Let's make sure we all get out of here alive. We're gonna have one hell of a story to tell. Wait! I want you to know that no matter what happens, You've been a champion to the Krogan people, a friend of Clan Erdnot, and a brother to me. To every Krogan born after this day, the name Shepard will mean hero! All right. Now, let's show them why. Yeah, Rex! Go! I've got this! I am Erdnot Rex! And this is my planet! Yeah, Rex! Tear him up! <laughs> See you on the other side. Stay alive, Shepard. We'll have Cure ready. This game is making me really love the Krogan. Let's get in there! God, what? Shepard, I took care of those Ragnar. Someone has to raise those ball hammers before you can use them. <laughs> We're kind of busy, Rex. Lucky for you, I'm here. Raise the hammers, sure, we'll raise the hammers, something, whatever, some of the big worm thing. I got this. M5 Phalanx? Come on, what a time. That's uh, new pistol thing. M5 Phalanx. It's lighter, has greater capacity, increased fire rate, way less damage, better accuracy. I kind of like my little uh, sticky grenade launcher thing. It's kind of cool. I'm going to stick with it. But maybe we'll check it out later. What's that noise? Shepard, some luck. Original strain in storage. Preparing the cure now. Make it quick, Morton. They're all over us out here. By the goddess, to our left! <clears throat> Whoa! What the Everyone all right? Fine here. Mostly. Shot by a Reaper. Consider that practice. Okay, Shepard. I raise the hammers. You have to activate both of them. My advice is avoid the giant laser. Good advice! Are we sure about this? Just keep moving. Stick to cover. I'm not sure cover's going to I can't believe we're actually doing this. Don't stop! <laughs> no! Yay! I knew they would have given up. be with them. Go! Let's push ahead! Over on our left, one of the hammers! Bigger one's on the right! Getting to them is another matter entirely! <laughs> really? Come on!
the first half. I'm coming. Almost at you. Please find signs dropping. Trying to compensate. Out of ammo. Stab me! Redbus says, thank God for short half walls. Even Reaper beams can't go through them. We should just armor all of our ships with short half walls and we would win. I like your logic there, Brad. Oh, come on, man. man let's <laughs> bring them out to space they can survive a space flight oh. Oh. 
What's happening up there? Is the cure ready? Yes. Loaded for dispersal in two minutes. Procedure traumatic for Eve, but not lethal. Malin's research invaluable. She's okay? Headed to safety now. Her survival fortune will stabilize new government should Rex get any ideas. Good match. Promising future for Krogan. Damn! How do we keep Control her alive? Top of Shroud Tower. Must take elevator up. You're going up there? Yes. Manual access required. Have to counteract STG sabotage. Ensure cure dispersed properly. Morton, this whole thing is coming apart. There's got to be another way. Remote bypass impossible. STG countermeasures in place. No time to adjust cure for temperature variants. Morton? No, no other option. Not coming back. Suggest you get clear. Explosions likely to be problematic. Morton, no! Shepard, please. Need to do this. My project, my work, my cure. My responsibility. Would have liked to run tests on the seashells. Morton! I'm sorry. I'm not. Had to be me. Had to be him. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. <laughs> Classic last words for Morden. I love it. But Morden, no! No! Who's gonna sing me Gilbert and Sullivan now? Oh. We'll have to watch the Pirates of Penzance in his honor. Better work. I am the very model of a scientist, Solarian. There it goes. Eve's okay. What a character arc. Wow. F in chat, folks. <laughs> F in chat from Morden, the scientist Solarian. A long time ago, my father betrayed me in this place. His own son. He tried to kill me, so I had to kill him. Right over there. That's what the Genophage reduced us to. Animals. But you changed them today, Shepard. Now we'll fight for our children, not against them. It's just a pity Morden had to die. He wouldn't have had it any other way. And I'm sure wherever he is, he's putting in a good word for us. We'll name one of the kids after him. Maybe a girl. But <laughs> <laughs> you, Commander, we can thank you in person. Tell the Turians I'll be deploying troops to Palavan immediately. And when you're ready to kick the Reapers off Earth, you let me know. The Krogan are back in business. Hell yeah! Goodbye, Commander. What will you do now? Spread the hope you've given us. Even now, there are clans gathering in the Kelphic Valley. I'll go speak to them and make sure this gift isn't squandered. Thank you for all that you've done. And know that Erdnot Bakara calls you a friend. Her real name, Bakara. Thank you, Erdnot Bakara. Achievement unlocked, Pathfinder. Hell of a thing you just pulled off, Commander. Curing the Genophage? I never thought I'd see the day. Rex has agreed to help the Turians, Admiral. We should get their full support. 
I take it that leaves the Solarians out of the equation. The cost of their support was too high, sir. Well, I'll defer to your judgment on that, Commander. Let's hope we don't need them. Pack it out. Would be a really interesting playthrough to go the other route. See what the Solarians can do. Commander, Erdnot Rex has begun sending troops to Palavan. You kept your end of the bargain, and now I'll keep mine. The Turian hierarchy will stand with humanity against the Reapers. I'm glad we can help each other out. It's the only way we're going to defeat the Reapers. That much is certain. To that end, several dry dock ships are ready to help build the Crucible. Garrus will coordinate them. Yes, sir. And when the time comes to deploy it, the full measure of our fleet will be there for Earth. May the spirits watch over us all. I'll start managing Turian support right away, Shepard. You must be exhausted. Morden dying... It can't be easy. I'll sleep when I'm dead. We both know you need a clear head to win a war. There's no room for mistakes here. You should catch some shut-eye. I'll make He's sure right. Joker doesn't launch any suicide missions. <laughs> Anything happens, you let me know. Is he gonna dream about that kid that he watched die on Earth? The nightmares for Shepard. I gotta let my dog inside. Ethan H. says, Eve's survival is linked to whether you saved Malin's data to correct a certain disinformation spreader from the last stream. Not naming any names, I say. Well, thank you, Ethan. But uh, that's great to know. Interesting that they would have had a different option had we destroyed that data. Roman Adams says, if for some sick reason you decided to betray the Krogan and you have to kill Morden in the cutscene, Shep uses the Carnifex pistol that Morden gifts to us when we first meet him in Mass Effect 2 to do the deed before throwing it away. I am so glad I didn't have to kill Morden with my bare hands. Well, with a Carnifex pistol, I suppose. And that would have been awful. I think we did the right thing, everybody. Freddie Simmons says, if the shroud is blowing from the inside, why would they expect it to function properly? I guess I don't understand your criticism. The shroud is uh, blowing out into the atmosphere. It's blowing it up into the jet stream of the planet, which is then disseminating the cure across uh, across all of uh, Tatanka. That, I think, is the gist of what was going on there. All right, let's uh, navigate this dream, see if we can find that poor kid. Morden? I'm gonna help you, kid!
You're right. That was Caden. It's open. Shepard, there's something you need to hear. All right. Is this a bad time? Thinking of some friends who aren't around thanks to this war. That's thanks to the Reapers, not you. Are you thinking about anyone in particular? Caden, back on Vermeer. He died buying us time to defeat Sovereign. Seeing what we're up against now, you might think his sacrifice was in vain. You know Caden would never think that. Yeah. That's one more reason I miss him. Didn't you have something for me? The Solarian Counselor has an urgent matter. Let me guess. He called the comm room? The Council must be taking the Crucible seriously. I'll see you downstairs. No time for the man to deal with his past. Commander, there is something we should discuss if you are finished rewriting history. I made my decision, Counselor. There's not much anyone can do about it now. Yes. We're going to have billions more Krogan in the galaxy. It's a good thing you saved my life once, Shepard. Otherwise, well... <laughs> I have concerns about humanity's representative, Counselor Udina. My agents have discovered that he's using his authority to move vast sums of money. For what purpose? We're not sure. Whoa! And to be honest, I wouldn't put that past you, Dina. Freddie Simmons says, sorry, I meant blowing up from the inside. If those explosions were going off like the ones that killed Morden, why would anyone expect the shroud to function properly? Maybe they were just hoping it would. Maybe the tubes and pipes and, you know, atmospheric blowers or whatever was used to aerosolize the cure and put it into the atmosphere were still functioning. And it was just the infrastructure or the, the exterior sh uh, scaffolding around it that was falling apart. Who knows? But it worked. Brandon Beltfed says you can save Morden only if both Eve and Rex are dead. Rex's brother Reeve is left in charge, and you can convince Morden of the need for the sabotage, gaining everyone's support for the war effort. A playthrough that would be interesting to explore, but I still think we made the right decision. Albin says you have a dog? I demand that you introduce him or her, lol. I took, uh, his, his name is Admiral. I had him on broadcast, well, a long time ago. When he was much smaller, he's gotten bigger. But I, I, I should probably show him off on camera at some time. Not today, not today. Stefano says, did you check the wall of names on the Normandy? I did when we first got the Normandy, but we'll have to check it again now that we're losing more people. <laughs> well, um, I mean, I wouldn't put this past you, Dina, so... If Adina's dirty, it's best we get to the bottom of it fast. Agreed. Come to the Citadel. We will review the evidence and discuss this in private. Valorn out. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCom. Oh dear. Commander Shepard, something you need to talk about? What's our state of readiness, Admiral? I won't lie, Shepard. We're bogged down. Things aren't looking good in most sectors. We need to increase the tempo and chalk up some wins, otherwise... ...this won't end well for the human race. Or any race. What about the extra help we've picked up along the way? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Erdnog Rex running the show is a bonus for us. And that female Krogan you rescued is rallying more support from the other clans. I'm glad you disabled that bomb on Tachanka. We could have lost a lot of Krogan support as it is. We picked up some Turian troops. Good to hear. How about the Solarians? Interesting wrinkle. We've been getting back channel commitments from the strike teams within STG. They're promising to back us. Even after I cured the genophage? Our intel suggests there are cracks developing between the military and the politicians. Kirahi. These STG guys know the score. 
They're not gonna jeopardize the entire Solari Muni just because some Delatraz didn't get her way. What about the Rachni? I wouldn't have believed it, but the Rachni are helping us build the Crucible. You're kidding. Turns out they have a knack for weapons of mass destruction. Huh. In hindsight, I guess they'd know a thing or two about waging a galactic war. No problems with them then? Other than scaring the hell out of our engineers, no. Not a lot of small talk going on there. What about Arya's mercenaries? Arya Talok, there's someone I never thought we'd be in bed with. The blood pack will be useful and violent. Mostly Vorchai I hear. We'll put the Blue Suns to good use. Intel says Narnir Vosk is bringing his men and that they're gunning for a fight. The Eclipse are providing troops and mechs. When we find a Reaper soft spot, they'll help us hit it. Don't want to know how you got Arya's cooperation. But whatever you did, it was worth it. Do you know how the other races are doing against the Reapers? Believe it or not, the Turians and Krogan actually seem to be getting along. Erdnot Rex has deployed troops, and they're giving the Reapers a moment of pause. The Salarians are still hanging on to Sirkesh, but the Reapers are starting to breathe down their necks, too. What about the Asari? They have to be feeling the heat. The Reapers are moving fast with the obvious intent of taking Thessia. Interestingly, the Reapers are leaving Parnak alone. It's the Yogg homeworld. Huh. Can't say that I blame them. Yogg have teeth. Well, if we lose this war, it might be them running the next cycle. It's easy to forget the Reapers don't destroy every species. Just the ones who can threaten them. Uh, Kong Lizana says, uh, Hey, Ox, it's me, John Lizana. Just wanted to say thanks for entertaining me all these years, but I have to go now. Maybe one day I'll find a way back from all this mess. No worries, uh, John. Thank you for watching all these years. It's always good to see your name pop up in the chat. Any word on the Volus and Alcor? The Turians and the Krogan sent forces to the Volus homeworld, Evroom. It might not be enough, but at least they've got Reaper forces bogged down in a nasty ground war. As for Elcor, they're still in the fight, though our projections show the Reapers encroaching on their territory soon. What happened to the Batarians? Never stood a chance, hit by the Reapers straight out of the gate. And without any allies to call on, I think the Batarians are history. Have we heard anything from the Quarians or Geth? Something might be brewing near the Geth border, but our intel is sketchy. News is getting harder to come by as things get worse. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. New Alliance. The Alliance Fifth Fleet. And I believe we've got some updates. Krogan power grids are supplying energy to purgatory, allowing the club to operate as usual, improving the morale of soldiers on shore leave. <laughs> okay, right, fine, we'll take it. Krogan. Ernot Rex fought alongside Commander Shepard during the Reapers' first invasion attempt in 2183. Afterwards, wait a minute, we've got an... Yeah, afterwards, he returned to Tachanka and spent the following years rising to the leadership of his clan, championing, championing progressive methods meant to, to strengthen the Krogan as a whole. Conservative elements were unhappy, but news of a successfully cured genophage has solidly united all of Tachanka under Rex's command. Hailed not only as a great warrior, but a savior, the Krogan will follow Erdnot Rex into the maws of the Reapers themselves. Then Krogan clans. Centuries of Krogan infighting abruptly halted with the news of a cure for the genophage. With their future restored, Tachanka's clans have united in a show of force not seen since the Rachni War. The clans have also uh, been stockpiling weapons of mass destruction for decades. Thankfully, their full destructive force can now be turned on the Reapers instead of Tachanka. Their strength, size, and regenerative powers make the Krogan ideal shock troops. Clan Erdnot has become the unofficial but uncontested representative body of Krogan power to the rest of the galaxy. Within the past decade, Erdnot's warriors have either absorbed or wiped out clans Nakemore, Jurdan, Quash, and even the legendarily ferocious Clan Rake. 
the discovery of a fertile Erdnot female rallied even more Krogan, regardless of affiliation, to Erdnot's banner. And Krogan mercenaries. <clears throat> Many Krogan went fortune-seeking out in the lawless Terminus systems. Their imposing bulk and infamous brutality won them prized positions as bodyguards and mercenaries. When news of a genophage cure spread, these drifters were contacted by... Uh, the, their clans and urged to join Shepard's forces against the Reapers. After centuries of aimless brawls and bleak futures, Krogan everywhere are heeding the call. Wow, we got a ton from that. Look at this, our total milist, military strength has almost reached the minimum. Turian. The Turian 43rd Marine Division was founded during the ancient unification wars that rocked Palavin over 2,000 years ago. The 43rd maintains relations with other council races, running joint training exercises with Asari, Salarian, and more recently, Alliance Military Forces. Knowing how their allies fight has become an asset, as the 43rd's troops have uh, the discipline and experience to integrate into any army on any battlefield. The Turian 7th Fleet... The Turian 7th Fleet was assigned the privilege and burden of guarding the Crucible during the weapon's construction and deployment. The fleet flies constant surveillance around the massive device, coordinating with Alliance security patrols and VI-run counterintelligence programs. The 7th Fleet knows what it would cost the galaxy if the Reapers breached their defenses. Every vessel's captain is prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice if it ensures the Crucible's safety. And finally, the Turian Engineering Corps. In a society where the military is synonymous with the government, the Turian Engineering Corps is responsible for everything from maintaining sidewalks to creating spaceports. Their fame spread beyond Palavin after they helped repair the damage done to the Citadel by Sovereign in record time. TEC engineers view the Crucible as the greatest challenge of their career and have sped up the building process with their expertise and equipment. All right. Well, folks, I'm going to do a hard save here. I'm officially over time. So we're going to end the broadcast. Thank you, everybody, for coming to this week's live stream of Mass Effect on Mass Effect Monday. Jared on Facebook says, Hi, Ox, just got off work. Sorry I missed your stream. No worries, Jared. You can always scroll back to watch from the beginning. Uh, uh, thank you for everybody understanding um, my needs for uh, changing my broadcast times. Uh, thank you for being flexible, but this week I should be pretty predictable. On Wednesday, I'll go live at around 11 a.m. Pacific Time. On Thursday, we'll be doing Scotch and Smoke Rings at 7 p.m. Pacific Time. And then Friday, if all goes according to plan, I'll be able to make my live stream of Sherlock Holmes at 11 a.m. Pacific Time. And of course, I'll have a lore video ready for you on the weekend of the next episode in Fallout 76's Steel Dawn. Have a wonderful rest of your Monday, and I'll see you all again very soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now.